Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel. Gotham Dark Godfather at the Beginning. Chapter 41. Compared to Joe Howe's emotion, the shoeshine kid was obviously much more surprised. He must be no ordinary character to be able to analyze the situation of Gotham's gangsters so accurately. He subconsciously asked. Sir. I wonder where you are, given your surname. Before he finished speaking, Joe Howe handed over another $5, stuffed it into Jason's hand, and said calmly, I am the guy you just mentioned, the passionate and thirsty man who plays and sings every night. Detective from Arkham District Police Station, come to my place for tea next time you are free. After that, he stood up, shook his jacket coolly, and disappeared into the crowd without looking back. Only Jason was left holding the money and was at a loss. In the messy night wind, when he thought of what he had just said, he was suddenly frightened for no reason and started crying instinctively. On the contrary, the customer who was shining shoes next to him didn't understand what was going on. He looked at the crying Jason and said in confusion, Oh my god, that Asian guy just now was so weird. He actually admitted that he was a lustful maniac. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Polish a pair. I was given $10 for shoes. It's such a waste of money, E.H. Why does this child keep crying? Could it be that the Asian just now was a pedophile and wanted to keep this child? Oh my god, it's really it's too much, that guy is really nothing. Joe Howe was walking on the streets of Gotham. The Wayne Tower in the distance was shining brightly, as if he wanted to set the sky on fire. However, in the neighborhood where he was now, even the street lights were broken. However, the things that darkness breeds the most are the creatures that are attached to the darkness, such as the vicious Mexicans. If you say you want a bag of white powder, in the blink of an eye, these guys will give you the gentlest smile in the world. Dot. The thin Vietnamese man blinked his eyes and looked at the passers-by. They ran underground gambling stalls. They could gamble on everything from baseball and football to a few people in the next room. But the most common ones are the scantily clad women who gather on the roadside in twos and threes, around the bonfire lit by the homeless man, keeping warm while waiting for the business to open. Hey. Joe, come here and have some fun. A chubby black nurse came up with a cigarette in her mouth, swaying her heavy buttocks, and said, Sister, the store hasn't opened yet today, how about giving you a 9% discount? Three black lines appeared on Joe Howe's forehead. Since Loeb issued the edict, not only did the Gotham police recognize him, but his reputation also spread in the lower class circles. Especially some guys who travel to and from Arkham District, they are very fond of him. It's extremely clear. But having said that, the teacher's wife in front of me is simply too exaggerated. First of all, it's hard to tell how old she is. Maybe Joe Howe has poor eyesight. Anyway, in his opinion, there is almost no difference between the age of 18 and 60 for black women. Dot 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 dot. Secondly, putting aside the cheap cosmetics and low quality perfume, this lady's weight is really. Well, it's appalling. Half of her body is covered with tight-fitting leopard print clothes, barely holding back some fat, but the thick legs on the lower body can no longer be concealed. How to describe it specifically? When Nua was mending the sky, she once cut off the four legs about to hold up the four poles. If she still needs to do this work now, she only needs to take away the two legs of the master, and it is estimated that it can hold up the sky. The fact is that many women who engage in such professions are not in much better shape. After all, money comes quickly in this industry. You can easily make money by lying down and closing your eyes. If you are lucky, you can earn as much as a month by sweating and working hard in a factory in a few nights. This has caused many practitioners to become lazy and dislike exercise. In addition, most of them stay up during the day and go out at night. They eat after working, sleep after eating, and when they wake up, it is almost dark and they can go to work again. Their irregular living habits make people gain weight. Experienced butchers can tell by looking at the thighs of practitioners in this industry how long they have been doing it, and similarly, many women also try to hide their imperfections with long skirts, tight pants or just sitting down to entertain guests. Now that Joe Howe was being entangled by his master's wife, he secretly thought something was wrong. He quickly looked at his eyes, his mouth, his mouth, his nose, and his nose, his heart. He silently recited the four-character mantra, See, I can't see. He walked straight forward, pretending not to see anything, 
After all, if you don't want to continue to be entangled in this kind of thing, the best way is to say nothing and don't look at anything. If you open your mouth to drive them away, these women will think that there is a joke and they will continue to be entangled. Turning a blind eye is the correct solution. Who would have thought that this black teacher might not have gotten a job for a few days, and she was so depressed at the moment that she was not willing to let Zhou Hao go. She walked after Zhou Hao with two fat legs and pointed stilettos, shouting after her. Zhou, don't go. I heard that you are as big as a donkey, and the sisters in these streets may not dare to take your job. It is better to ask your sister. At least they can bear it. As soon as these words came out, the nearby women and homeless people burst into laughter. Apparently they had all heard the rumors about Zhou Hao, and the whole street was suddenly filled with a happy atmosphere. As for the person involved, Zhou Hao, his face turned white and blue with anger. He turned around and raised his finger. He opened his mouth to think about the famous colloquialism of democratic countries. However, the pronunciation that started with, F, just came out of his mouth. He suddenly felt that something was wrong, so he changed his sentence and cursed then wrapped up his clothes tightly and left the place quickly. What the hell am I wasting my time here? Zhou Hao threw the extinguished cigarette butt on the ground and cursed, has the guy in the video store inspected the goods. If we continue to delay like this, I guess I can do it. We've walked to Xingang City, so rushed to the streets. After that, I looked around and saw a phone booth not far away. I sighed and walked straight over, preparing to make a call and ask. Unexpectedly, as soon as he got closer, he saw a big white man standing in the phone booth. His whole body was twitching and his expression was ferocious, as if he was trying his best to endure some pain. Let me stop you, sir, what's wrong with you? Joe Howe couldn't help but ask. After all, as a police officer, it was still difficult for him to ignore an accident on the road. But as soon as he finished speaking, he poked his head out from under the white guy, and saw a girl with brown skin glaring at Zhou Hao, and there seemed to be a few hairs on the corners of her mouth. Idiot. I need to call the convenience store. This place is in use. The white guy was furious when his fun was interrupted and roared towards Zhou Hao. Seeing this scene, Zhou Hao shrugged helplessly, turned and left. Such a prosperous Gotham City, no wonder Superman rarely comes here to eliminate violence and keep good people. After all, even the phone booth he transformed into has become someone it is a very difficult workplace to find a clean phone booth here. What? No money. Boss, what you are saying is very interesting. Joe Howe came to the video store with eyes wide open, rolled up his sleeves and looked like he was choosing others to eat. Do you think I am too easy to talk to? So, are you going to bring some freshness and excitement to our cooperation? If that's the case I won't mind demolishing your shabby store immediately. Zhou Hao couldn't help but be so angry. After today's patrol, he sent the recently burned video here. He even spent two hours checking the image quality of the disc frame by frame with the shop owner. As a result, after spending a night in the cold wind on the street, I now told myself that I couldn't afford it. That's not it. Boss, listen to me, it's not what you think. This time you took out a total of discs. The number is really too much. It will take several people to weigh them. If you can afford it, according to our previous price, which is tens of thousands of dollars, our store really can't handle it for a while. The owner of the video store wiped the sweat from his head and explained hurriedly, just kidding. Joe Howe was able to obtain contraband and confiscated items unique to the police industry. The power behind this was no longer something he could offend, so he didn't dare to offend him at all and could only keep smiling. However, Joe Howe didn't see it that way. He finally got the Riddler to help him improve the equipment and increase production efficiency. However, at this juncture, his buyers couldn't eat it, which was very embarrassing, especially with the increasingly shorter debt repayment period, Joe Howe is even more worried. He can't really let Black Mask stuff himself into an oil drum and fill the sea with cement, right? You said at the beginning that there is no problem with any amount. Good guy, I thought you had the guts. Who would have thought that now that I have actually taken out the goods, you are calling me poor? Do you think I'm being playful? Joe Howe drank ferociously, and at the same time slapped the counter, sending the things stacked up flying, it seems I can't do it without letting you see what I can do. As he spoke, he deliberately exposed the gun holster under his shoulder. 
The revolver with the unique police pattern was looming, so the shop owner didn't worry about it. Seeing this scene, the owner of the video store felt his eyes darken. When doing business in Gotham, in addition to being wary of gangsters from different factions on the streets, he also needed to take care of the police who were cautious. As the saying goes, soldiers are like combs and bandits are like greats. These two groups are the most troublesome beings who cannot be offended. Especially for people with a profession like Joe Howe, they can use countless legal reasons to make their livelihood completely impossible. It also leaves you no place to complain. Thinking of this, the store owner hurriedly took out a few stacks of banknotes tied with rubber bands from the drawer, and said carefully, Boss, please calm down, I collected some money from relatives, a total of one US dollars, I'll pay you these first, it depends on our previous cooperation, can the remaining money be paid another day, haha. Ha. Joe Hao glanced at the banknotes handed over, thought for a while, and finally picked them up and counted them carefully. The amount was correct, but there were a lot of change inside, old and new, which showed that they were pieced together. Think about it, this is a video rental store, not a gambling business. It takes a lot of effort to raise 10,000 US dollars in a short time. Seeing Joe Howe accept the money, the shop owner's eyes lit up and he felt that he was in trouble, so he quickly licked his face and asked, Well, boss, look. I'll pay you the rest of the money next month. Is that so? I'll get more interest then. However, before he finished speaking, he saw Joe Howe put away the discs on the table silently, leaving only an amount worth almost $10,000 untouched. Boss, what are you doing? The store owner asked cautiously. Joe Howe glanced at it coldly and said calmly, Thanks to you, you are still the owner of the business. You pay with one hand and deliver the goods with the other. The money and goods are paid in full, and there is no credit. Do you still need me to teach you this truth? No, boss, you, the store owner said anxiously, but as soon as the words came out, Joe Howe raised a finger to signal him to shut up. How many dollars do you have and how many discs do you get? It's so simple. Joe Howe said seriously, while frowning impatiently, this is just for the sake of recent cooperation. If you feel dissatisfied, you can do it today. Forget it, go find a new source of goods. After saying that, he ignored the store owner's pleading, slammed the door and left the place without looking back. Putting the unreleased disc into the trunk of the police car hidden in the dark, Joe Howe depressedly lit a cigarette and took a long drag, letting nicotine and carbon dioxide billow in his lungs, mixed with anxiety. Finally vomited out of the body. In his eyes, no matter in business or life, the most taboo thing is to be forced to make concessions. If there is a first time, there will be a second time. In the end, all initiative will be gradually lost, the reason why he refused to give in to the store owner just now, and even threatened to cut off cooperation, was because he did not give the other party a chance to make an exception. Not to mention how fatal it would be for me to defer payment for a month before paying. As long as I hesitate a little, these profit-seeking guys will see my embarrassment of lack of money. God knows whether the next step will be to lower the price or pay in installments. Anyway nothing good will come of it. In the final analysis, the channels are still too narrow. Relying only on one channel is not a long-term solution after all. Joe Howe blew out a smoke ring and said to himself, it is necessary to expand some new buyers. It's so annoying. For a shy person like me, running business and other things is the most annoying thing. Just as he was thinking about trance, he heard his cell phone ringing. He picked it up and saw that it was the Riddler Namag who had sent a text message. What's wrong with this guy who doesn't sleep in the middle of the night? Joe House said angrily. He opened it and saw pitifully written inside. Joe, do you have time? I'm lovelorn. Seeing this news, Joe Howe was so angry that he couldn't help but laugh. He threw the cigarette butt aside and complained to himself. Ha ha, when will the Riddler start chasing women like this? Are you crazy? Could it be that this guy's broken love led him to design a cuckold uniform? What a loser. Speaking of Riddler Nimigo's love history, Gotham's villain got married relatively early. Exclamation mark. Unlike the Joker and Harley Quinn, who love and kill each other like a marathon, which is so appetizing, and different from Mr. Freeze and Nora, who are inseparable from each other, the Riddler confirmed the existence of a mate very early on, and even gave birth to a child. 
Daughter Enjma, the first appearance of the Teen Titans in 2006, appeared with the Riddler in Batman No. 2011, in 708, and there were scenes of father-daughter interaction. Her biggest achievement was sneaking into Dream Prison and mentally torturing the Teen Titans member Crow, later defeated by Beast Boy. In the TV series, Gotham, the Riddler Nima also fell in love with a red-haired office colleague. Although his occasional neurosis made the girl confused, the two finally came together. After a short period of sweetness, the unlucky girl just like the heroine in Grimm's Fairy Tales, Bluebeard, she discovered the Riddler's ulterior secret, the murder of his love rival, and was silenced by her former lover. This incident also became the trigger for the TV series version of the Riddler's eventual darkening. So. However, the great sage mission who appeared next to Joe Howe at this moment did not have the courage to be a gangster or a murderer at all. Instead, he looked like a student who had just lost love, crying non-stop in Joe Howe's police car. Joe, can you believe it? The little angel in my heart. Dot she actually likes that rough guy Froz. Half an hour ago, when I came out from overtime, I saw them the two of them went home talking and laughing together, and the most unforgivable thing is that the guy actually reached out and touched her butt. Dot dot quote. Riddler Namag said with snot and tears, and by the way, he also he took out a crumpled piece of paper from his pocket, put it under his nose and blew it hard, making a trumpet-like noise, which made Joe Howe, who was sitting in front of the car and driving, quite uncomfortable. Ah, what's the name of your angel baby? Maggie. Or Maiden. Joe Howe tried hard to find a topic to say. He had never even been in love in his life, let alone being lovelorn. When you see someone else falling out of love, you will definitely celebrate by beating gongs and drums and holding a torch high. How can you become a caring sister to help you enlighten you? But the current situation, if the Riddler who is in a lovelorn state cannot handle it well, is likely to cause this guy to become a black man, and the consequences are not what Joe Howe wants to see. Her name is Maggie. She has red hair, white skin, and a few charming freckles on her face. She wears a pair of pants nez, the most popular pants nez of the 19th century art revival. Well, intellectual and charming, she is the only person in the archives of the general administration besides me. He is the person with the highest academic qualifications outside of China. The Riddler Namag said with an intoxicated look on his face. His unflattering expression made him look like a virgin who was in unrequited love. Joe, don't you have any impression? You came here this time. At that time, she even passed you by. Hearing this, Joe Howe's head suddenly became as big as two. Am I mistaken? Why do I have no impression that such a woman exists? Um. But having said that, for a veteran like Joe Howe who has read all the pornographic movies in the world and has no code, how can a woman with flat chest and flat butt fall into his eyes and automatically treat a woman with a score below 4 points? Filter out all the fungus. However, from what Riddler Namag said just now, it seems that having a high degree of education is one of the cool things about this guy. It is not difficult to understand that this guy would look at such a plain looking woman. Ooh, my dear Maggie. How could you love this kind of rubbish that can't even recite the multiplication table? Riddler Namag complained with spittle flying, and the spittle kept spraying on the back of Joe Howe's head, with a the stench of leftover dinner only made his forehead throb with blue veins. Ah, come, buddy, drink some wine. Oh, no, it's to relieve sorrow. Drinking is a must when you're broken up. Joe Howe took out a bottle from under his seat and didn't know when to drink it. With the remaining rum, he quietly threw two pieces of mouthwash candy into it, handed it to the Riddler, and at the same time began to recall information about Florida's in his mind. I remember that this guy appeared a lot in, Batman, Year One. He is a retired Special Forces soldier, strong and tall, and serves as the captain of the Gotham Inspection Bureau's Special Operations Team. He is very good at making money, and he also knows how to cater to the boss, win over colleagues, have his own direct team, and habitually maintain a cheerful look every day. When Gordon saw this guy for the first time, he was extremely wary and kept secretly observing Flass's moves. This shows that this guy can be considered a powerful and threatening character. According to the news that Joe Howe overheard before, this guy is planning to sneak attack James Gordon in two weeks. Regardless of whether the character is good or bad, at least Froz meets the correct criteria for a girl to choose a mate in every aspect. He is rich, funny, 
physically strong, and has a sense of security, well, at least the beans sprout behind him in shape, the skinny riddler who laughs at jokes and riddles all day long is much more pleasing to the eye, unless the virgin's heart is bursting, the riddler before his blackening really doesn't have much charm. Ed. Don't worry, if this froz dares to touch your woman, I will make him look good, Joe How said pretending to be solemn. Um, thank you, Joe, but I want to add that Maggie hasn't registered my marriage yet, and legally she's not my woman. Riddler Namag said seriously with tears in his eyes, also, Maggie is not my woman. I know your good intentions, but Froz is at the level of a police sergeant, and is also a captain of the special operations team. He has a fifth degree black belt. You can't fight him. When Joe Howe heard this, he felt his breath stuck in his throat and his chest felt uncomfortable. This Riddler's emotional intelligence is indeed negative, and his words can make people choke to death. Listen. Brother, I swear to you, in two weeks, I will definitely deal with Froz. Joe Howe tried hard to resist the urge to beat the Riddler, and put on his most convincing voice. Forced to say, the reason why we have to do it at this time is because I have to wait until Chief Luo goes to the metropolis before I can take action. Otherwise, we will have no benefit if the quarrel ends. What Joe Howe is actually thinking is that according to the development of the plot, Gordon will have a head-on confrontation with Floridas in two weeks. As long as he causes any harm to Floridas, he can steal the credit openly and use come to give the Riddler a job. Seeing Joe Howe's solemn look, the Riddler couldn't help but calm down despite his slow emotional intelligence. He looked at Joe Howe in surprise, feeling that he was valued and cared for for the first time in his heart. Thank you, Joe. I'm really grateful to have a friend like you, the Riddler said with a choked voice, but he quickly changed the subject without any care and asked stupidly, so where do we go now? Hearing this, Joe Howe raised the corners of his mouth slightly, showing an evil and crazy smile and said, the best way to treat a broken love is a new relationship. It's old-fashioned. The approach in the new era should be to have a good health care and let yourself go completely. Joe Howe smiled evilly and said loudly, it's such a happy decision, let's go. The reason why Joe Howe keeps encouraging the Riddler Nimigo is not that he is as lustful and lustful as the rumors say. Mobile Terminal M. As a time traveler who understands DC characters, Joe Howe is very aware of the Riddler's chatty nature. When he went to pick up the disc, nothing happened, but he wasted his whole life listening to this guy's nagging. Now that he had just lost his love, he was full of grievances and bitterness and was ready to talk to Joe Howe. Now Joe Howe, who is struggling with a debt of US dollar, has no time and effort to sit in a bourgeois bar, order a Maldini mixed with water, and listen to the Riddler Nemag complain and complain. At least for the next hour, Joe Howe believed that he would not be harassed by the Riddler and had some time to find a new place to buy the CD. Of course, there is another ulterior factor. As a special benefit of the Arkham District Police, the first shot can be free of charge. Joe Howe, who is now heavily in debt, should theoretically save every penny on hand. Um, listen to me, Joe. Isn't it a little too, ah, uh, too inconsistent and exciting to go shopping in a place like that when you're heartbroken? The Riddler carefully prepared his measures. I remember the TV show, when you encounter this kind of situation, you should go to a bar or something, and have a few drinks is the right answer. Joe Howe laughed loudly when he heard this, trying to cover up his slight guilt, but he did not reveal any flaw in his words. He turned against the guest and said first, don't talk about that yet, Ed. Do you know, who is born from the bubble? Who has experienced this? Baptism of iron and fire. Who gets the golden apples of Troy? Although this riddle was a bad one, it perfectly attracted Namag's attention. After all, this was his weakest point. Um you want to say Aphrodite. Also called Venus, the goddess of love in Greek mythology, hey, man, what are you talking about? Riddler Namag was confused. Asked. Exactly this, in Greek mythology, Venus was obviously married, but she was flirting with Ares, the god of war. For this reason, the angry husband specially made a piece of gold to capture the couple. He got into trouble and was paraded through the streets, making a huge fool of himself. From then on, Venus never did anything to disgrace her husband again, Joe Howe said, making up nonsense. Um, so what does this have to do with me? Although the Riddler had an outstanding IQ, he didn't understand the meaning of Joe Howe's words. 
Ed, you are good at everything, but you are too kind to women. Zhou Hao said with a serious face, this Ma Ji. No, since Ma Ji spends time with you day and night, of course she should pay attention I know how much you love her, but under such a background, she went to flirt with Froz, which is really too much. You should deal with these two guys the same way you dealt with Venus. Listening to Zhou Hao's embarrassing talk about straight men's cancer, Riddler Namag was not expecting it and said subconsciously, I also made a few dinner appointments with Maggie. I wanted to confess to her but never had the courage. But. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Zhou Hao. This shows that you don't understand women at all, so you are so timid. And if you want to fully understand these preening creatures, you have to experience it yourself, so the place we go should not be a bar, but the streets. Zhou Hao continued to talk nonsense. You are so hesitant, could it be that you are still a virgin? The last sentence was like a drop of water dripping into hot oil, which immediately made Riddler Namag's face turn red. After all, no normal man is willing to admit such a shameful question, so he hurriedly clarified, why? Possibly. Who could be a virgin? Well, let's go, am I still afraid? After saying that, he curled up with his hands in his hands and said nothing. Zhou Hao wiped his sweat and complained secretly. What kind of nonsense did I say before? Fortunately, I transferred to Rufeng, and this problem has been solved, it's so troublesome to be a big, healthy, it's tiring. The streets in Arkham were as depressing as ever, with idle women standing on the corners. Even a blind person could tell the occupations of these people at a glance. Zhou Haoyunyan slowed down the car and honked the horn twice. This was the secret code agreed upon by the police officers in the branch. One honking signal reminded these women to pay attention to their image. There were supervisors nearby. Three honking horns meant they should leave immediately. There will be some tonight. Surprise inspection, and if it rings more than five times, it can only mean that there is a car in front blocking the road. Hearing the call from the voice, these women slowly gathered around like zombies and said feebly. Would you two officers like to have some fun? Zhou Hao glanced at the group of people calmly and said lightly, my good friend has heard about the simple folk customs of Arkham for a long time. He wants to experience it. Find your best and most beautiful girl quickly, oh, by the way. Is there anyone here who has studied, preferably someone who has been a student? Ordinary guys are not our cup of tea. The woman who spoke frowned and muttered unhappily, huh. Since when did this profession require academic qualifications? Do you want to hear the voices of people speaking four different languages? Zhou Hao smiled good-naturedly and said nothing. At this time, a tall girl came forward and said with a smile, Hello, brothers, I graduated from the biology department of Minnesota State University. I hope to serve you, but I need 20 US dollars to pay for the room later. What do you think? Seeing this girl, Riddler Namag's eyes lit up, as if he had discovered a new world. It's rare to see this idiot react so violently. Joe Howe, who saw this in his eyes, smiled to himself. Ha ha, it seems that there is a chance. I should have time to find some new video stores to discuss prices later. Unexpectedly, Riddler Namag looked at the girl and blurted out, Minnesota State University. Okay, then what family of plants does Apple belong to? As soon as these words came out, not only the girl was stunned, but also Joe Howe was stunned. Everyone around him was instantly petrified and looked at Namag in disbelief. If you can't answer this kind of question, how can you be from the biology department? Riddler Namag said with a serious face, Joe, you must not give them money. Even a freshman at this level can handle it. State University how come someone from the biology department can't answer it? At this moment, Joe Howe's heart was filled with 10,000 grass and mud horses whizzing by, rushing into the street. He had to figure out how to protect his health. How could he still have intelligence questions and answers when selecting people? The Riddler is so awesome. The most irritating thing is that this idiot obviously hasn't realized his situation yet. Instead, he looks smug, as if he has revealed something extraordinary. It really makes people want to pretend that they don't know him. The dilapidated street hotel was filled with the smell of dust and disinfectant, and the mottled walls were full of black mold spots, making it look particularly uncomfortable. The Riddler Namag followed a girl cautiously, heading towards the attic of the hotel step by step. This guy Joe Howe, 
You know clearly that this woman is not a college graduate, why do you still choose her? Could it be that you pity this promiscuous woman? Alas, a kind person like Zhou Hao will definitely suffer in society in the future. Riddler Namag began to think wildly as he walked. Speaking of which, the hygiene here feels so bad. Why would you open a store in an alley like this? Will anyone be able to find it? The fashionable girl didn't think too much and walked in front, swaying her not-so-slender waist, and the sound of her high heels echoed in the empty corridor. I glanced at the front desk of the hotel and casually threw a key out without registering or checking any documents. The Riddler frowned at the careless attitude. For an evidence keeper like him, such a careless work attitude was the worst thing to see. Just as he was about to open his mouth to criticize, he was pushed by Johau behind him. Hey, you should focus on that woman's butt, and don't think about what's going on. Johau, who had noticed something was wrong early on, decisively gave guidance as a veteran driver. At this time, Riddle discovered that the girl's skirt seemed a bit short, and her round hips couldn't be covered at all and something different could be vaguely seen. His body felt some strange sensations, and his eyes unconsciously followed the girl's figure. The girl came to a house according to the key number and opened the door with ease. At this time, the Riddler suddenly felt a little timid. He had never encountered such a scene in all his years, and he couldn't help but hesitate in his steps. Eon, handsome boy, there are no vicious dogs here. The girl looked at the hesitant Nigma and said calmly, and I don't know how to bite. The Riddler stared at the girl's towering position for a while, then finally gritted his teeth and followed her in. The furnishings in the room looked no different from other hotels, including TV, air conditioner and refrigerator, however, there are no windows installed. Legend has it that this can prevent guests from jumping out of the window to escape, so most women on the street like to choose similar rooms. The Riddler sat uncomfortably on the bedside, his upright posture and his fingers constantly twirling, all showing how nervous this guy was. Oh my god, why do I come here? The Riddler's forehead was sweating, and his heart was beating wildly. I shouldn't have shown off to Joe how just now, alas. I'm a virgin, what's the big deal? Now, it's better to tell her clearly and then run away. When the Riddler was thinking about running away, the girl put out her cigarette butt, took out a pink scarf, and lightly covered it with the desk lamp. The whole room suddenly turned into a charming and frivolous pink tone. Then he moved lightly and sat next to the Riddler. He held his cheek in his hand and looked at the young man in front of him with a smile who had begun to take a deep breath. Talking about this guy Nigma, although he is very knowledgeable, he has never had the opportunity to operate between men and women. He has an authentic pure male body. When he sees a girl smiling at him so close, he suddenly feels that his bones are three pounds lighter couldn't help but pouted, and leaned in like a reckless man. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Do you understand the rules? The girl pushed Nigma away impatiently, cursing. I don't know why, but almost all the women in this industry hate kissing customers. In their words, this place is reserved for their Mr. Right, but the fact is that it is still for hygienic reasons, and all kinds of influenza viruses are not allowed to spread. Regardless, as long as there are wounds in the mouth, there is a possibility of infection with more serious diseases. At the girl's shout, the Riddler's courage suddenly lost all of his strength, and he quickly sat upright, not daring to make any move. Seeing that Nigma was as upright as a quail, the girl was so angry and funny that she had no choice but to use her tone as if coaxing a child, and gently began to guide this guy to enlightenment. After the atmosphere relaxed a little, she began to take out the protective cover and prepare for the next step. Action. At the same time, Joe Howe was holding a stack of information downstairs, studying it with a frown on his face by the light in the front lobby. Why are there so few video stores? The ones I compiled are simply not enough to watch. When will this money-making plan come to an end? When he was distressed, he heard the Riddler's shout from upstairs, which sounded like something had happened. When Joe Howe heard the news, there was no need to delay. He quickly took three steps and then two steps, and rushed away quickly. When I came to the room, I saw that the Riddler was not wearing pants, his face was red and he was arguing angrily, while the girl was standing aside calmly, smoking a cigarette indifferently, as if she didn't hear anything. What the hell is going on? Joe Howe looked at this scene and felt speechless for a while. Health care is something that no teacher can learn, but the Riddler can still provoke him if he has the ability. When things go wrong, he turns out to be a walking troublemaker. 
Joe, you came just in time, this, guy is cheating, not with me, that. The Riddler's face turned red like a boiled shrimp, he was dancing and rowing, even wearing his pants. Forgot to mention it. Hearing this, Zhou Hao frowned and turned to stare at the girl, hoping that she would give a reasonable explanation. Otherwise, if she was pretending to be a big name and refused service, then Zhou Hao would not mind putting this woman in the police. Overnight. Unexpectedly, when this girl faced Zhou Hao's gaze, she was not afraid at all. Instead, she said calmly, he just finished it. As soon as he said this, Zhou Hao was speechless. He had only been here for about 1 minute and 29 seconds, and the Riddler was already. This is too fast. However, the party involved, Nigma, had not yet understood the core of the problem. Instead, he said firmly and resolutely, this is not fair, Joe. She basically did nothing, and the service time was so short. Even those people in the next room didn't give 10 minutes. None of them are of any use, so why are you refusing service? I will file a complaint against her. Zhou Hao was really choked at this moment. How should he speak about such an unfortunate thing? The key is that after hearing the cause and effect, you stand completely on the girl's side. You can't blame others because you acted too early. And, thank you, Nigma, you will be a gangster level existence in the future. Can you please lift up your pants before talking at this time? Zhou Hao deliberately tried to pimp the Riddler and encouraged him to find a woman in order to prevent him from killing people for so-called love-like in the TV series version. Pinshu.com has conducted such a survey before. Most of the people who committed suicide and were trapped in love began to regret it at the last moment. There were traces of struggle between their fingernails, while the deceased who was in debt had almost no such signs. To put it simply, when love encounters trouble, it can be healed by time or a new relationship. It is really not worth it to commit suicide and kill someone just for this kind of thing. Now the Riddler Nigma kept pestering the girl for an explanation, which made Zhou Hao feel bad. It seemed that if he didn't handle it well, it would have a terrible impact on this guy. He was thinking about what he should do to ease the atmosphere. Unexpectedly, before Zhou Hao could come up with any tricks, the girl calmly spoke. This gentleman looks strange. What does he do? Seeing the girl asking questions, Zhou Hao was worried that the Riddler was talking nonsense, so he rushed to answer. Um. He is a TV salesman and I have been friends for many years. What? Do you look down on him? The girl shook her head and used the mirror in the room to start touching up her makeup. She said calmly, Officer Zhou, you misunderstood. What I want to say is that if someone comes into the store and wants to buy a TV, he will neither wander around nor look around. Bargaining, not even complaining at all, will you sell it to him cheaper because of this? Joe Howe and the Riddler looked at each other and shook their heads. Then if customers come in after that, they will endlessly pick and choose, try seven or eight TVs, dislike the sound of the TV, complain about the poor picture quality, and waste more than an hour before they spend money to buy something, will you increase the price for him? No, was the Riddler's word this time. For customers who are straightforward and easy to talk to, we can't make an exception and offer a buy one get one free deal, right? The girl said with a half smile with her eyes wide open. At this time, Joe Howe had heard what she meant and shook his head in annoyance. This is my job, Joe, the girl said calmly, I won't break the rules just because your friend came quickly and took less time. After saying that, he turned around and raised his eyebrows. The Riddler, who was sitting on the edge of the bed, thought about it thoughtfully, nodded and said, it makes some sense, I understand, but I still have $30 in my pocket, how about we do it again? The girl said two words without looking back, 50 US dollars. This time it was Joe Howe's turn to frown, and after glancing at it, he replied, how did you put a hat on my friend's lower body just now? Mouth, or hands, if you really want to follow the rules, then the second shot should be half price, $25. Quote. Hearing Joe Howe's words, the girl smiled slightly and said two words calmly, it's up to you. The fact is that when most people go to eat fast food, after washing and peeling off, the woman will always hold an umbrella for your friend in a special way. It is not that these people have a good sense of service, but that this business is all about bullets. Collect money by quantity, spit by nail, and try every means to get you done as quickly as possible. This not only saves time but also charges an extra fee. 
This is also the reason why some junior brothers surrender their guns quickly. How could the Riddler know these things? He had just eaten the marrow and learned the taste. He was just distracted. He was afraid that the girl would not agree. Seeing that Zhou Hao not only got the girl in a few words, but also asked for half of the money, he became even more excited and hurriedly urged to open another round. Bureau. Zhou Hao shook his head and walked out. He took out a cigarette from his pocket and secretly thought that the Riddler was really careless. The benefits he brought were almost the same as the troubles he suffered. He really didn't know whether it was a blessing or a curse. At this time, the singing and singing of birds came from the surrounding rooms, and the melodious sounds were endless. It was obvious that more than one pair of wild mandarin ducks were enjoying their dewy love here. It's really hard to believe that this is a two-dimensional world of comics. Well, it's almost the same as real society, and even taxes are deducted from the monthly salary. Should I find one to play too? I've been in this world for a long time, and it seems that it hasn't opened yet. Hmm, it seems that I have become a good citizen. How ironic. Joe Howe thought while smoking a cigarette, but then his mind a woman with rotten teeth appeared in the picture, and all the desires in her heart suddenly disappeared. When Joe Howe was feeling sorry for himself, he heard the girl's complaining voice coming from the Riddler's room. What's wrong with you? There's been no movement for a long time. I'm telling you, after 10 minutes, no matter what the result is, you have to add money. The Riddler's voice sounded aggrieved like a primary school student who made a mistake, and he explained succinctly. Um, wait a minute. This kind of physiological reaction where the blood is concentrated in one point depends on chance. If I accidentally move the blood in the brain to the bottom, my excellent IQ will be damaged, how about you wait for me to rest for five minutes? Stop talking nonsense, can you do it? Joe Hao blew out a smoke ring and lamented that the sound insulation effect of the hotel here was really bad. But think about it, this kind of cheap hotel hidden in an inconspicuous alley, how can you afford to build soundproof walls? It doesn't even check basic ids, just to give these street women a place to work. Hey, why don't you turn on the TV and watch the teaching? Joe Hao said jokingly, I remember that this kind of small place has this function specifically for single travelers, so maybe the jockey club will stand up somewhere. The Riddler was overjoyed when he heard this. He rummaged around the house for a long time and wanted to smash the TV remote control, but he found nothing. Joe, are you kidding me? Riddler Nigma shouted at the door, there is nothing but a screen of snowflakes. You are mistaken. Hearing this, Joe how couldn't help but was stunned and said subconsciously, how is it possible? I have traveled all over the country on business trips before. I have never seen the sands in Sichuan and the black lights and dance halls in Yunnan. There are similar channels in hotels. Naturally, the people in the room couldn't understand what Zhou Hao said, and the girl shouted angrily. Officer, I have been in this business for seven to eight years, and I have never seen anything like this in a hotel. After all, buying TV channels is very expensive. How can the landlord be willing to pay for it? Only then did Joe Howe realize that he was already in the world of American comics. He patted his head and smiled awkwardly. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration flashed across his mind, instantly illuminating Joe Howe's already anxious mind. Yeah, why didn't I think of it? Isn't this the ideal destination for the disc? As if he was enlightened, Joe Howe had no intention of continuing to watch Nigma's reality show. He quickly rushed to the car, took out a few discs, rushed to the front desk, and said to the hotel manager who was watching TV. Hey, buddy, I just noticed that the TV in your room seems to be just a decoration. I pressed the remote control for a long time, but there are no programs. Does this mean that I have no fun to entertain myself at night? Joe Howe said, handing him a TV. The smoke passed. The administrator's eyes were still staring at the screen, but his hand accurately took the cigarette and muttered angrily. Humph, it's no fun to go to the street to find two women. Do you think I don't want to install channels? In the past, it was okay when I used cable TV. With one signal line, the whole building could watch the program, but what about now? Since it has become Gotham the department has carried out some kind of copyright action. All TV programs can only be broadcast by purchasing a signal box, and you have to pay a service fee every year. It is so dark, the administrator said, and pointed to a TV next to his own. 
Host-sized box. The most annoying thing is that one TV can only use one dedicated signal box. If all 68 TVs in lousy house are equipped, it will cost an extra $5 to $6 a year. Quote. When Joe Howe saw that there was something going on, he immediately hit the snake with a stick and followed the guy's words and said. Isn't that right? The location of your hotel was originally very remote, but now you can't even watch TV programs. Who else would be willing to stay here? Hearing this, the administrator nodded empathetically and replied with concern. You're telling me. Now that I'm opening a shop, I can only take on the business of those old women on the street. I have to look at the faces of the pimps all day long. I'm afraid that these low-level scoundrels won't come to take care of my business, and I can't stay in a good hotel. It's so frustrating to be a part-time roommate. Seeing that Huo Hu was almost aroused by himself, Zhou Hao finally revealed his fox tail. So, if your store is willing, it is also a signal line that can share the contents of the DVD player with all the rooms. You don't have to worry about people from the copyright office coming to trouble you. When the administrator heard this, he sneered and said angrily, Are you kidding? The price of genuine CDs is also very expensive. If you broadcast it every day, it will cost several. After a year, the price is not as cheap as the signal box. Do you think I am stupid? Ah. Before he finished speaking, he saw Joe Howe take out a large pile of plates, place them on the table like a showdown, and uttered two words concisely. Piracy. At this time, the administrator was finally moved. He looked at Joe Howe for a long time, and then he took out one and stuffed it into his DVD player. After a while, the intertwined ketone bodies and the embarrassing voice suddenly filled the room. The entire front desk. The administrator looked at Joe Howe in surprise and said in disbelief, Oh my God. Is this still a restricted level? Although Joe Howe felt like a treacherous salesman at this moment, in order to pay off the debt crisis, he could only bite the bullet and continued. A must-have for home travel, exclusive for hotels and restaurants. Think about it, the people who come to your store now are all girls from the street, and all they earn is time and money. The longer they stay, the more they get. If there is such a disc to add to the fun, then I am afraid that the original 30-minute work group can be increased to 60 minutes. Interesting, really interesting. The administrator let out a lewd laugh. In this way, maybe the guests will be willing to come. Seeing that the situation was wide open, Joe Howe immediately said while the iron was hot, how many do your store want? I can send them to you. Unexpectedly, as soon as he heard this topic, the hotel manager laughed, stopped, and never mentioned paying for the order. Joe Howe waited for a while and saw no movement, so he asked again, probably because he was annoyed, the administrator said impatiently. How many discs are needed? Isn't it something that can be explained clearly in a short while? These are all things of unknown origin. How big a deal does it have to be for me to play them? If I don't ask around, if I get checked by those notes, you found out later, how could you spare me? The administrator cursed and said, you are so ignorant, you don't know any rules, and you still want to sell contraband. Let's do this. Today you will play a dozen discs first if there is no movement after watching it for 10 days and a half, I will buy it from you then. After saying that, he turned his head and continued to focus on the TV. Joe Howe's heart suddenly became angry when he heard this, but he still tried to suppress his temper and whispered. You can keep the disc, but the money must be paid first. There is no way to buy it on credit. I hope you won't make it difficult for me. Who would have thought that Joe Howe's words, which were neither humble nor overbearing, caused the administrator to roll his eyes. Money, money, money. All you know is money. Tell you, kid, I asked you to keep the goods because I am in a good mood. If I report it to the police now, all your discs will be confiscated. By that time, let's see what you do. It seems that in this world, there are shameless people everywhere. Obviously, Joe Howe has met one now. But as the saying goes, ghosts are afraid of evil. When he heard that this guy wanted to report him, Joe Howe finally got angry and took out his police badge. He slammed it on the table, then pulled out the police gun from the holster under his arm, put it against the opponent's crotch, stared into his eyes, and said word by word. Report. Why don't you go? No matter it's the Gotham General Bureau or the branch here, do you have the guts to go? Joe Howe glared and said viciously, Listen, you fool, if I leave this door today, I will have nothing left in my pocket. 
If the money is not fully paid, then there is only one possibility, that is, I will break your limbs with a gun, and the money will be used to make soup and medicine for you. It's that simple. The dormitory manager who was held against the gun was startled by a series of surprises. He never dreamed that the guy in front of him was a police station. Especially looking at the position of the holster, he knew that his status was very high. He couldn't help but secretly groan in his heart. I finally hit the wall. 10 US dollars a piece. The takeout price of 60 US dollars is much cheaper. Joe Hao growled. As for whether the police will come to trouble you if you buy the disc, I can't guarantee it. But if you don't buy the disc and I will direct the police to take care of your place personally. You will not be able to eat and walk around. The administrator was frightened and said tremblingly. I, my place, belongs to the jurisdiction of Director Foy. You are not allowed to cross the boundary, come here to arrest people. Is there any difference? I don't arrest people, but I can send my subordinates here to check eight times a day. Let me see how long it will take so that no one dares to come here again, Joe Howe said in an equally calm manner. Joe Howe's words are simply killing this guy. He wants to come to a hotel in such a secluded place to do the illegal business of a street girl. If the police come to visit him every day and make surprise inspections, then no matter how nervous the pimp is, customers will not be willing to come in, which undoubtedly destroys the foundation of this store. Boss. Don't be excited. If you have something to say, please speak it up. The administrator stammered and begged for mercy. I was wrong just now. There are $500 in the drawer. Don't be the same as me. Unexpectedly, Joe Howe became even more angry when he heard these soft words. He swung the revolver in his hand, slapped the administrator twice with the oak handle, and yelled. What do you mean? Do you think I'm a robber? I'm here to steal your money. Joe Howe cursed while pressing his police badge on the administrator's face and yelled, See clearly, I'm a policeman. I came here on the basis of improving the relationship between the police and the public. I suggest you buy some suitable daily necessities. Who the hell cares about your money? Although he said this, Joe Howe was not idle. He quickly opened the drawer with his fingers and took out the scattered banknotes inside. He roughly counted the CDs he brought and found that there were only 20 of them, so he picked them from the pile of banknotes. He took out $200 and stuffed it into his pocket. Then the horse turned around and left the hotel, running to his car like a gust of wind, panting and sticking his head out to make sure no one was chasing him. Holy crap! Is this considered robbery? Joe Howe thought with lingering fear, but when he saw the police badge in his hand, he couldn't help but shook his head. Well. I only took 200, and also took the equivalent value of the disc give him the film. The police doing this kind of thing, can't be considered robbery. At the same time, he couldn't help but look at the sky. The famous Batman lamp from the future hadn't appeared yet. He wasn't worried that the shopkeeper would call the police, but he didn't want to be stared at by Batman so early. Speaking of which, although this street is only 5 to 600 meters long, there are dozens of girls looking for food nearby. In other words, there are probably many similar hotels. Joe Howe touched his chin thoughtfully, with the shadow of banknotes shining in his eyes, it's time to make a big fortune. After all, he didn't care about the cheerful Riddler who was having fun upstairs. He was wrapped in a tight coat and drove away into the darkness around the corner of the street under the hazy moonlight. The next day, the Riddler staggered out of the hotel with red eyes. He glanced at the red sun with a beard and felt it was extremely dazzling. Not only did he burst into tears, he sighed. My, almost 30 years of savings, are, gone. I, alas. Mirroring the Riddler's self-pity, in a secluded small restaurant in Arkham District, two police officers were drinking and chatting in the corner. This guy Joe didn't come to work again today. He's only been here for a few days. He's so unscrupulous and arrogant. It's really abominable. Weaver. Aren't you the director of the Arkham branch? Why don't you care about him? The man who looked like the captain of the police force said. Sitting next to him was Joe Howe's immediate boss, Police Chief Weaver, who was in charge of the Arkham division. He picked up the wine glass with an impatient look, took a deep drink of his own and said. HMPH. Do you think I don't want to? Who reported to Chief Luo before? I was thinking about this Joe Howe, and I was afraid that he would be transferred to the Black Gate or the Lunatic Asylum to guard the gate. But what will be the result? Weaver muttered dissatisfied, 
Not only did it not happen, but I also brought back a lot of discs to make money. That old guy has always recognized money but not people. The captain of the police force also drank a sip of wine, blinked his little eyes and said mysteriously, I heard that Joe Howe got the wind from somewhere and knew what the director was going to do. He rushed to the police station overnight and honestly handed over $5,000 in exchange for Loeb's trust in him. Hearing this number, Weaver couldn't help but smacked his lips and felt unhappy. He owned all the gambling stalls in Arkham, and his monthly tribute was only $2,000 US dollars. It was no wonder that his relationship with Joe Howe was completely ruined. Recently, Mr. Luo has seen that his face looks particularly bad. However, the police captain next to him was very confused about the style, and kept struggling with money issues. Where do you think this kid got so much money? To be able to provide such a large amount to the boss, could it be that these mere pirated discs are making so much money? Weaver frowned and cursed impatiently. Oh. How many pornographic DVDs? Gotham Street is full of girls standing on the street. If you want to have fun, you can do it at any time, and the price is cheap who would he have the heart to hide at home and watch this? If he could give Lob so much money, I'm afraid it's all borrowed to show off. I heard the news from Dow that Joe borrowed tens of thousands of dollars from Black Mask. I'm afraid he used this to just try to climb up. If Joe Howe were here, he would definitely shake his head when he heard this. After all, the country that will produce such discs in the future will happen to be a place with a very developed custom industry. Weaver seemed to be still angry. He poured himself another glass of wine rudely and cursed. As a police officer, there are many ways to make money. Gambling stalls, white fans, and those pimps, the benefits provided are like a gold mountain. Yinshin, if you don't do this, you will become like a peddler selling pirated copies under the overpass. If you tell us, it will bring shame to our Arkham branch. The captain of the police force kept smiling, but he was cursing secretly in his heart. The gambling, drug and drug trafficking businesses in their area, which were originally barren and made a lot of money, were gathered together and put under the control of Weaver. Naturally, this guy made a lot of money. The other police officers could only extort money from the vendors, so this time Joe Howe found another way to piracy, and they all watched with envy and goodwill. No, we can't let this kid get away with it anymore. Weaver slapped the wine glass on the table in a desperate move, as if it belonged to Joe Howe. Since Lob doesn't care, we have to find a way to make this Asian guy understand. It's not that easy to mess around in Cam District. After saying that, he made a gesture and asked the police captain to come closer and said in a low voice. Now I have thought of three strategies to deal with Joe Howe. Tomorrow you take people out to patrol, focusing on those video stores and hotels. Anyone who bought Joe Howe's discs will be closed for rectification. I want to see who will do it in the future. Do you dare to accept his goods? Second, since you have to make a living as a police officer, there is no way you can get through it all at once. So if there are any difficult cases that cannot be solved in the future, assign them all to Joe Howe. I want to take a look. If not a single case can be solved by then, how dare he continue to stay in the police force? Weaver was talking really enthusiastically, and suddenly he vaguely saw a figure moving outside the door of his box. He was shocked and shouted quickly, stop. Who is sneaking outside? Weaver hurriedly got up and looked outside the box, but didn't see anyone. Weird, I just saw a child sneaking around outside, why didn't I have the time to blink? Weaver muttered in confusion, returned to his original position, and poured himself a glass of wine. Is it possible that I haven't been sleeping well recently, to the point of hallucination? Hey, what's weird about seeing a child? Gotham is full of street children. Maybe he was just a shoe shiner who came to book a room to get business, or he was a thief who checked out the place. You don't know. I met powerful thieves, most of them were women and children. After all, people have no defense against these vulnerable groups. The police captain sighed. Speaking of which, the number of patrols has been insufficient recently, and there are always so many troubles on the street. Now, sir, you are asking them to go to various hotels to search for pirated discs. I'm afraid the people below will be too busy. Hearing this, Weaver couldn't help but narrowed his eyes. Being able to be the boss of the branch naturally has some skills. How can he not hear the implication in this guy's words, whether he is short of manpower or too busy, these are all excuses. 
if you want them to deal with Zhou Hao, you have to give this group of people some sweetness. Brothers, it's really hard to be out in the wind and sun every day, Weaver said duplicitously. At the same time, he took out his bag from his arms, took out some bills from his wallet, and handed it over, here are some midnight snack fees. You take it and give them a point, don't worry, follow me, it will benefit everyone. The captain of the police force was not polite, he took the money with a smile, and slightly weighed the weight with an imperceptible movement. It was as thin as a cicada, and it could not exceed 1,500 United States dollars at most. HMPH, the stingy grandit, sitting on such a rich territory as a gambling stall, is still so stingy. He really deserves to be unable to get promoted. The police captain cursed in his heart, but his face showed a grateful look, as if he had taken it. It seems like a lot of money. But Weaver still felt aggrieved in his heart. You must know that the bribe he paid to Director Luo was only 2,000 US dollars. This time he was able to give 1,500 US dollars to his subordinates, which was extremely merciful. If he didn't really dislike Zhou Hao, it won't be such a huge expense. As the saying goes, money can make all the difference. After getting this banknote, the police captain was particularly worried. Early the next morning, about police officers under his command were summoned and a meeting was held at the Arkham Police Station to carry out the first targeting of Zhou Hao. After listening to the police captain's introduction and accepting the hard-earned money distributed by him, some people immediately stood up and responded to the call. Captain. Don't worry, this guy Zhou has long disliked him. Even without the hard work of 50 yuan, I am willing to deal with this yellow-skinned guy. A police officer said with confidence, but but he stuffed the money into his pocket without any hesitation, not wanting to regard money as dirt as he said. It's not ma. An Asian became a detective at a young age. Why? This is so chilling for people who work silently. Another police officer with a veteran background said angrily. For a moment, the whole room was excited, and everyone denounced Joe Howe. If someone who didn't know the situation passed by, they would probably think that there were all crazy people here. The captain of the police force was very satisfied with what he saw before him. His morale had been ignited. He would definitely be able to win the battle later and successfully complete the troubles assigned by Weaver. Of course, he had already pocketed 500 US dollars of the money Weaver gave him yesterday. After all, Yang Guo had plucked his feathers and made money by hand. 50 US dollars was enough to give to one of his subordinates. If you can get some recognition through this, you might be able to get a promotion and a salary increase, and reach the pinnacle of your life. Just as he was thinking about losing his mind, he heard a bang and the door of the conference room was broken open. Everyone present was immediately surprised. After all, this is also a police station, a place that symbolizes the public power of Gotham. Should trouble be caused here? I'm afraid it's a big deal. Joe Howe shouted a quick reacting police officer. Joe Howe was not wearing a police uniform, but walked in with a travel bag, smiling and looking at the various patrol officers present. Yo, are you guys quite together? Are you all getting together to play mahjong? Joe Howe deliberately pretended not to notice, walked in with a big sting, pulled out a stool, and sat down in front of everyone. He didn't speak, but his eyes swept across everyone's face like a knife. Although there were 20 policemen present, they all had ulterior motives. Especially three seconds ago, they had scolded Zhou Hao with righteous indignation, wishing they could knock him to the ground and have 10,000 feet stepped on him. As a result, the real master suddenly came out at this time, and he suddenly lost his sense of place. For a while, no one dared to look at Zhou Hao. When they saw him looking over, they all pretended to be quails, lowered their heads and said nothing. Since everyone is here, I just have something to ask you for advice, Zhou Hao said slowly and in a provocative tone. When the captain of the police force saw this, he secretly thought that something was wrong. This guy was really here to cause trouble and demand punishment. He quickly thought about how to resolve it. What he didn't expect was that Zhou Hao's first words straight to the point stunned him. My colleagues probably don't know, but I recently discovered some ways to make money in Arkham District. Although the profit from this small DVD is only a few cents, it can't stand the people's liking, so I accidentally put it in I sold a few more pictures in your jurisdiction, but I know the rules and don't want to keep the money I sold, so I brought it to you specially. 
Zhou Hao said as he dropped the travel bag on the table and put it in the unfastened zipper. Suddenly, a few green banknotes fell out of the bag, attracting everyone's attention. My god, this guy actually showed off his cards right away. The captain of the police force looked at everything in front of him in surprise. He didn't expect that Zhou Hao would come out like this, throw a bag of money in front of the public, and generously let everyone share the loot. It is really. Seeing this, the captain of the police force wanted to show his temperament and reprimand Zhou Hao for his reckless behavior and daring. Dot dot. But he couldn't help but his subordinates were not up to par. When Zhou Hao piled money on the table, there were already several guys he stood up and looked through the bills inside, looking very hungry and thirsty. You must know that in a hellish place like Gotham, the only purpose of being a police officer is to make money, but Arkham District is the least profitable and worst place in the city. The only gambling stand, Bafin, is also controlled by Division Chief Weaver. In the hand, there is no leakage of soup to the subordinates. Therefore, the police here are very greedy. Once they find an opportunity to make money, they will almost jump into it regardless of their own safety. If he says anything to tell Joe how to take the money and go away, in the blink of an eye, the congregation will rebel and no one will be willing to follow him anymore. The corners of Joe Howe's mouth were slightly raised, and he looked indifferently at the hyena-like police officers in front of him. Dot. He thought of the history of his own world. Feng Yusheng once said that his Northwest Army was good at everything, but it had no money or women. Later, during the Great War, Chiang Kai-shek spilled a lot of money and bribed Feng Yusheng's 13 Taibao of the Northwest Army. They all switched sides and fell into the arms of the enemy. As a result, Feng Yusheng had to resign sadly and lost the war. Now I have followed suit and launched a silver bullet offensive to see what results I can achieve. The money isn't much, just enough for each of you guys to get 500 US dollars. You can take it back, have a drink, take a shower or something, and treat it as a token of my appreciation. Joe Hao said while taking out a cigarette from his pocket. Come on, look at everyone with a half smile. However, no one here is as calm as Joe Hao, 500 US dollars. And everyone has a share. It's 10 times what Weaver asked for. Based on this order of magnitude, Joe Hao had almost spent a total of 10,000 US dollars at this moment. Such a generous move made many people start to gasp. Joe, what are you, doing? The police captain said in surprise, we have about 20 people here, are you, sure that everyone has an equal share? Quote. After hearing this, Joe Hao glanced at him and said lightly, well. To be precise, not everyone is the same. For example, Captain, you are exposed to wind and sun every day and are the hardest, so your share, it will be 1,000 US dollars. By the way, as long as you treat me as a friend, the place where I invite you to drink every month will not be worse than now. This time the captain of the police force was really shocked. After a long time of squirming, Weaver managed to squeeze out 1,500 US dollars. He also wanted to distribute it to his 20 or so brothers. Now that Zhou Hao has taken action, everyone will have a share. Needless to say, his share of it made his jaw drop. Moreover, the subtext of the second half of Zhou Hao's sentence is also very obvious. Being a friend is just a scene talk, but the actual meaning is that there will be no less additional benefits every month in the future than now. This alone makes the captain excited. Oh, it's getting late. I have something to do today, so I won't talk to you anymore. Zhou Hao looked at his watch in an exaggerated manner, stood up and said, I have booked a seat in the private room on the second floor of the Zeus Hotel tonight. If there is any if you are interested in making friends with me, I look forward to visiting you tonight. After saying that, he left without looking back, leaving only a large bag of money on the table, which looked particularly ironic under the police badge symbolizing fairness and justice of the American police. The scene suddenly became deserted. Joe Howe's appearance and departure seemed like a dream, coming and going in a hurry. If it weren't for the money on the table, I'm afraid someone would really suspect that everything just now was an illusion. The police officers present stared eagerly at the banknote bag and their boss, but no one dared to move. How could the police captain not know what these guys were thinking, so he waved his hands feebly and sighed. Don't look at me. Since Joe said we should share it with everyone, then you can do whatever you want. As soon as he finished speaking, the police officers who were originally hungry and cold immediately rushed towards him, 
poured the banknotes in their bags on the table, and started to divide the money noisily, without caring about his image. Oh, my God, this guy Joe, how did he know that we had this conspiracy this morning? Coincidence. Or, anyway, this timing is really good. The policeman the captain of the team secretly thought, speaking of which, this guy is really crazy. He is about to be dispatched to deal with him, but this guy actually dares to come here in person. Oh, what should we do now? Joe Howe slowly came out of the conference room, his heart indifferent. After he got the news from a certain person, he was seriously thinking about countermeasures. Speaking of which, I don't know if it's because I'm so handsome that I attract a lot of hatred every time I appear. Wherever I go, people cry and shout and jump out to cause trouble for me. It seems like there are always unscrupulous people trying to harm me. After carefully analyzing the conversation between this group of people, Joe Howe keenly discovered a detail. As the boss of the Gotham branch, he wants to block his buyers. Is it completely possible to order an inspection openly? After all, as the defenders of Gotham's laws, the police department naturally has this right. But Weaver actually took a sum of money and gave it to his men. Something was wrong. Generally speaking, only employees, mercenaries, like to be paid to do things. As a police officer who gets paid on time every month, it is necessary to obey the orders of superiors, but if you want to pay first, you can force your subordinates to do things. The most likely explanation is that Weaver couldn't move the officers below him, or that the gang didn't really buy into his story. Since money is needed to urge the police to do things, what will happen if more money is used to win over these people and become vested interests in their own interests? To be honest, even Joe Howe himself was shocked when this idea first came up and thought it was a bit ridiculous. But after careful analysis, I feel that this possibility is very high. Arkham District is located in a remote location and has a sluggish economy. It is a place specially used by Loeb to send unlucky people to suffer. There is very little hope of getting promoted from this place and returning to work in the downtown area. In other words, Weaver doesn't have many means to punish and restrain his subordinates. After all, there is no worse place to be assigned. Even if he is transferred to the lunatic asylum to guard the gate, it is actually still within the scope of Arkham District. From the official level, even one level bigger. Therefore, the people in the Arkham Police Department smell like dead pigs who are not afraid of boiling water. The only thing they are interested in is making more money in this dilapidated place. Just like the eunuchs in ancient China, they cannot enjoy the happiness of human relations and can only divert your limited interests into making money. Adhering to this idea, Zhou Hao simply came to the morning meeting room to throw out money. He personally stood in front of the people who were going to deal with him and had a hand-to-hand -hand contest. He used an upright conspiracy and bet on what he had given. The benefits are greater, and such greedy guys will make choices that are more beneficial to themselves. The rest depends on the consciousness of this group of people. Anyway, the benefits have been released. It's their business not to hook up. Joe Howe stood at the door of the police station, wiped out the half-smoked cigarette butt, and said calmly, You said so, my lucky star, Jason Todd. Next to the flower bed at the door of the police station, the little boy who shined Joe Howe's shoes for the first time was looking at him with a bright smile, as if he had a lot to say to Joe Howe. Speaking of Jason Todd, he was originally a street boy who met Batman because he stole the tires of the Batmobile. Later Jason succeeded Dick Grayson as the second Batman assistant, Robin. In fact, in Joe Howe's eyes, Jason is the character with the most troubled life experience in the history of DC Comics. From the outset of the character's creation, Jason was a replacement for the original Robin Dick. After all, the popularity of the first-generation Robin has been rising for some time in the past, and everyone likes this young man who loves to tell bad jokes and has a nice smile. The cunning DC would not let go of this opportunity to make money, so he let Dick go solo and start his own special issue, Nightwing. But the way Batman and Robin work together to fight crime has been regarded as a classic, and people feel that Batman still needs a Robin by his side. Some even say that the image of Batman will be complete only with Robin by his side. To alleviate this situation, the authors decided to introduce a new Robin. With this mission in mind, Jason Todd was created. In order to cater to readers and make up for the gap left after Dick left, 
the earliest Jason was exactly the same as the first Robin in terms of character experience and personality setting. He was born in a circus, then suffered the death of his parents, and even lost his hair. Died in Dick's style, it is a complete replica of the first generation. However, as the saying goes, those who learn from me will live, and those who resemble me will die. It took a full 40 years to create Dick's character. Naturally, the audience could not accept the Jason who had just debuted to replace Dick. Especially this guy's settings were completely copied and had no characteristics of his own. He was the most unflattering character for a long time. Roll. Seeing that DC was not making any money, they did something very cruel. Readers voted to decide whether this character would live or die. In one day from September 1988th to 9th, 15, they received tens of thousands of calls. In the end, the party in favor of execution won by a narrow margin of 16 votes to 5,343. Jason was murdered by readers. Although Joe Howe knew that Jason would be resurrected later and become the famous Red Hood, wondering where good and evil meet, but looking at this childish child, I always feel a little sad. Thank you for coming to report to me yesterday. Joe Howe bowed sincerely and said very seriously, otherwise I will be in a lot of trouble today. Jason, who grew up on the streets, had never seen such a battle. An ordinary police officer can chase them away. As a detective, Joe Howe is unattainable in his eyes from any angle. At this time, Joe Howe's attitude made him at a loss. Ah, uh, I'm not. I didn't. I just happened to hear this group of people talking and mention your name. Jason's words were a little urgent, and his fingers kept intertwining. It could be seen that he was very nervous. This group of people were swearing and swearing, as if they wanted to do you some harm, so I listened to some quietly. It's a pity. I didn't hear clearly their third plan to deal with you. Joe Howe didn't expect that Jason would be so shy and would be so restrained in his kind reaction to his kindness. He is far different from the unruly and always stubborn boy in his image. But think about it, this child was quite rebellious in the original plot. He was the most naughty child before Damien came out, but he also longed for the warmth of family affection the most. After Batman adopted him, Jason directly worshipped Bruce Wayne as a father. When he heard the news about his biological mother, he eagerly ran to Romania, but was burned and died there. After his resurrection, he discovered that the man he respected the most did not avenge himself. As a result, love turned into hatred, and he became the Red Hood who was both good and evil. To put it simply, this child has a clear distinction between love and hate. If you are willing to be kind to him with your heart, then Jason will definitely repay you with your heart and soul. On the contrary, if you chill his heart and hurt him, then he will also use his own way. Not done with you. At this time, Joe Howe couldn't help but sigh. If this child could have someone to take care of him, his future might be less dark. At least he wouldn't have to be locked up in a wooden house by a clown, beaten with a crowbar all night, and finally die in a sea of fire. Maybe. I can take care of this child instead of Batman. Although it is not considered to be a luxurious life. But at least I won't let him be tortured to death by the clown. Although I don't have much money, I will never be as careless as someone. When I invited the Bat family to draw a family portrait, I missed the second generation Jason. Besides, being able to enter Batman's discernment and become the heir to the second generation Robin shows that this child has great potential and abilities. What he lacks most in Gotham now is a foundation. With Jason joining, wouldn't it? Once this idea comes up, it becomes more and more uncontrollable. However, Jason did not notice at all that at this moment, there was already a big bad wolf like his brother, who was beginning to covet the ownership of his body. Instead, I kept blaming myself, feeling annoyed that I didn't overhear the last important part. If I could know the methods of these people, I wouldn't have to worry about others taking revenge. What are you thinking about? In the words of our Chinese people, if you are not hated by others, you are mediocre. Being remembered by these guys just means that I am doing well. Zhou Hao brazenly boasted, but having said that, thanks to your help this time, if I just give you money, it doesn't seem like I can repay you for your hard work. Let's do this. If you make a wish, as long as I can make it come true, I will do it for you even under the sword and the sea of fire. Hey, help others realize a wish. If this kind of words come from Bruce Wayne's mouth, then the reliability will be somewhat guaranteed. 
but for a low-level detective like Zhou Hao who owes a lot of debt and has no bullshit power, then it's just a big deal. But Zhou Hao was familiar with the plot and knew that Jason, a kid, was not greedy for money and had a very good bottom line. When I was living on the streets as a child, I had to do a lot of things I hated in order to survive. When he was the Red Hood, he told his drug dealers that they were prohibited from selling drugs to minors and would rather make less money. So when Zhou Hao dared to say this, he was sure that Jason would not ask for money, knew how to measure, and would not make excessive demands, so he said it to show off. But the effect of his words left a strong impression on the young Jason, leaving him with a courageous and responsible image. Can you really mention anything? This. Jason, who was still childish, asked hesitantly, but his eyes sparkled with an expression of anticipation of surprise. It was obvious that this unique way was to his liking. However, Jason did not immediately put forward his wish, but said seriously, Sir, I started wandering on the streets when I was four years old, trying my best to do all the jobs that allowed me to make a living. Dot but, I think, what I saw was completely different from the life I understood. It's like Black Mask. He kills people, does loan sharking, sells drugs, all he does is ruthless bad things, but why do people on the street say this? Is this the way to do great things? Many children my age even regard him as their idol. Halfway through, Zhou Hao felt something was wrong. Is this script different from what he thought? But in this regard, Zhou Hao is also aware that there are a large number of homeless children in Gotham every year, including Catwoman, who has such a background. Exclamation mark. In the past, when Thomas Wayne was still alive, his wife would organize a large number of charitable donations every year to help poor children on the streets have a home. But with the gunfire in Crime Alley, the Waynes lost their lives, and stupid bureaucrats gradually replaced the good rescue system in the past. The children adopted in the orphanages were either called to do hard labor or sold into slavery outside the country. All in all, it is extremely miserable and pitiful, as introduced in the second episode of the TV series Gotham Season. This also makes those orphans in the future prefer to wander on the streets and beg instead of being sent to orphanages. As a street kid who lives on the streets all year round, he naturally has no chance to learn. The only thing that can be learned is life. But the irony is that from their lowest perspective, the only way to climb up is crime, which is the easiest way to climb up, has zero barriers and can make money. It's no wonder that the cruel and cold-blooded black mask has become the object of worship for brave and ruthless gangsters. I always thought this was immoral and unjust, but life in reality kept telling me that by doing this, I could live a better life and enjoy more things that I don't usually have. Dot dot quote. Jason said in his eyes he showed a complicated expression, and it was obvious that he had been struggling with this issue in his mind for a long time. Until I met you, Mr. Joe. You are the first person I have ever seen who said that the black mask is just what it looks like. His appalling. The legend turned into a black mask in your mouth to cover up one's persona, a cunning means of domination. In short, your words seem to have opened another door for me to see the world, a way to truly see clearly. The key to reality. So, I want to ask you to be my teacher and teach me how to see the world clearly and persevere. Joe Howe thought about it for a long time before he remembered that when he was shining shoes, he was chatting and bragging with passers-by and on a whim, he started an indiscriminate trolling contest, and by the way, he stripped Black Mosque's old bottom clean. Unexpectedly, these words actually made Xiao it's really unexpected that Jason has such a big response. The fact is that among all Robins, Jason may be reckless, overconfident, or even unfit to be a noble and flawless knight, but he always likes to observe everything around him and will stop to examine its significance. Although he is in the lowest, most depraved and dark environment, he is trying to find a path that does not violate his soul. It seems like in, Detective Comics No. 574, Jason was unfortunately shot and his life was in danger. Batman, who has always been strong and serious, actually panicked. He held the unconscious Jason and found Gotham's best Dr. Leslie Thomas Wayne's classmate when he was studying medicine, and once took care of the young Bruce Wayne, almost begging. He kept repeating, save him. The doctor is furious with Batman, accusing him of involving yet another child in his dangerous enterprise, when Batman replies, you think it's for me, it's all for him, to save himself you took a criminal path, for the boy who saved himself. 
I didn't choose Jason to be Robin, it was the vigilante career that chose him, just like the bat chose me. Perhaps, at this moment, there really was a hand of fate that prompted him to meet Jason and pointed him to the right path. But even though he said this, Johau was sweating all over his forehead, and his heart was like 10,000 grass and mud horses running happily by. Go on the street, you want money or benefits, I'm not in a hurry. Why don't you study hard and become a disciple? Johau secretly said madly, I smoke, drink, hang out in nightclubs, and I admit that I am not a good person, and being a teacher is bullshit. Teaching and educating people are definitely out of the question. If he meets a few beautiful female students, he might consider educating people. A word. Seeing that Johau didn't speak for a long time, little Jason became a little worried. He looked at Johau with tears in his eyes, as if he might cry at any time. Um, being a teacher, is really, too exciting. Johau said carefully, fearing that there were some words in it that would cause Jason to have a bad misunderstanding. Learn from me, 100% misunderstanding. Son of a human being, for an outstanding child like you, the person who can be your teacher can only be the most intelligent human being on earth, the one who knows 300 kinds of martial arts, and whose strength reaches the limit of the human body. Joe Howe asked himself, what he just said was true. After all, Batman did meet those conditions, but how does little Jason know his future destiny? When he heard Joe Howe's statement, his first reaction was that he didn't want to accept him as a student, so he found some people who knew kinds of martial arts to act as a cover to coax the children. Suddenly, big tears fell from his eyes. It flowed out and the horse was about to cry. Seeing this scene, Johau suddenly panicked and was so frightened that he was at a loss what to do. Well. Before, when I broke into the police conference room single-handedly and faced more than 20 eager enemies, I didn't lose my composure like this. But now that I was frightened like this by a child, I was really speechless. Don't, don't cry. Joe Howe almost begged and said, it's too difficult to be a teacher. How about this? Just follow me and see if there's anything you don't know or can't figure out. Feel free to ask me, and I will answer you as best I can. After hearing this, little Jason thought that he was almost as good as being a teacher, so Ma burst into tears and smiled, looked at Joe Howe and said. Really? I have a lot of questions to ask you now. Why did you go in with a large amount of money even though you knew the people inside were going to deal with you? Aren't you afraid that they would regret it and report you by the way? Joe Howe was stunned when he heard this. This kid really went straight to the core issue when he opened his mouth and revealed his biggest hidden danger. At the same time, the observation is so keen, no wonder he was able to soak Talia. The reason is very simple. In life, the first thing to do is to know yourself and your enemy. Joe Howe said as he led Jason away. After all, this is next to the police station, and what he will talk about later involves the department. Personnel, if there is a bad influence, and this is not a place for conversation, he plans to find a place to drink tea and snacks, and treat the little guy well. Weaver and I are not in a higher position than him, and he is not as experienced in the management of this place. Naturally, we cannot compete with him in these fields. The only way is to catch what he does poorly and fight with him everywhere. The opposite approach may achieve a different effect. Joe Howe said lightly, as you told me, this guy asked his subordinates to do errands, but only gave a little favor fee. This is my breakthrough, forcing him to the other party is burning money with me, thus rendering its original advantages useless. To put it simply, Joe Howe's trick was to do the opposite first. Weaver was reluctant to spend money, so Joe Howe simply acted generously. During the Three Kingdoms period in the past, Liu Bei accidentally talked about his journey of starting a business. He once said that the reason why he succeeded was that, every time he went against Cao Cao, things got done. He meant that he wanted to do something different with Cao Cao. Same. Trump, now the leader of American imperialism, had a program that was tit for tat within every aspect during his campaign and successfully won over the opponents of Comrade Guan Hai, thus ascending to the throne. The subsequent money-burning behavior was also based on the American imperialism. Thinking about the Soviet Union, which is known as the strongest fighting nation on earth, with its strong soldiers and horses, if a war really started, the U.S. imperialists would not dare to say that they could hold it. Therefore, Reagan, a former actor, decisively used Hollywood tricks and directed the so-called Star Wars, 
forcing the Soviet Union to play an arms race with him. I thought that guy was good at drinking and fighting, but he didn't have the confidence to spend money and was dragged to death by Reagan in the end. After listening to Zhou Hao's explanation, Jason nodded thoughtfully, but Ma Yu Hao asked. That's true. But if Sai burns money, you don't have an advantage either. Well, I mean, it seems too much to spend $10,000 in such a short time. Um, that's too much. Jason carefully searched for words, but he still couldn't think of any fresh and refined words to explain the dilemma of having no money. Zhou Hao shook his head, took Jason to a coffee shop, and ordered the shopkeeper to make fragrant cocoa. At the same time, he ordered some exquisite snacks and prepared a full table. Then he sighed calmly and said, I don't really have much money. But as the saying goes, as long as you can find a good guy to invest in money, there is nothing you can do. After that, Zhou Hao explained in detail what happened yesterday. Originally, he had been busy all day and night, and through various means of forced buying and selling, he forced many hotels to buy his DVDs, and he supplied them on a monthly basis, so he easily collected the remaining money. I happily prepared to pay off the debt and live a leisurely two days in peace. But before he could figure out whether to go to Heart City to gain weight or go to Starport City to spend the weekend, Jason, who had met once before, breathlessly told him the news that Weaver wanted to attack him. When Zhou Hao heard the news, he was stunned for the first time. How come these unfortunate things happened one after another without even a chance to breathe? In the final analysis, they were all eager to repay their debts. Although they had opened up the relationship with Chief Luo, they really did not have the financial or mental energy to deal with their colleagues in Arkham District so much so that it aroused the dissatisfaction of Division Chief Weaver, which led to today's disaster. Sigh. I wonder if it's too late to go there with the money and apologize. Joe Howe thought depressedly, it's really unbearable. If I can wait a few days and I have more money, I won't naturally without the supervision of the subordinates, I didn't expect them to run out of patience so quickly. It's really unlucky. As the saying goes, a gentleman takes revenge every 10 years, but a villain takes revenge from morning to night, Zhou Hao looked at the green banknotes. He had earned them through deception and deception these days, for getting sleep and eating. To put it bluntly, he even remembered the origin of each piece of money clearly. Now he wanted to give it to others for free. Suddenly I felt unhappy. Go to hell, I'm just a grandson to Loeb. This guy is a character who has appeared in comics after all and this guy named Weaver, even though he's a big-ass official, he dares to imitate others to amuse me. It has only been a week, but you have said bad things about me in front of Lob again, and now you are inciting others to prepare to cut off my livelihood. It is really despicable, why should I bring my hard-earned money to grovel in front of him? The more Joe Howe thought about it, the angrier he became, and he couldn't help but curse out, you have plotted against me several times, and you must have hated me to the extreme in your heart. Even if you hand over the money at this time, I'm afraid there will be no reconciliation. God knows when he will stab me in the back again. Humph, brother lie after all these days, it's time for some people to know that I am not a Buddhist herbivore. If you want to fight me, then fight to the end. After thinking about it clearly, Zhou Haoshin had already made a decision. He held the money again and did not go to the Arkham branch to ask for help. Instead, he went straight to another place in Gotham, Siona's Tower. Speaking of this place, it is actually the lair of Black Mask, who is engaged in the business of taking care of his bright side. Unfortunately, when Zhou Hao arrived, he was told that the rightful owner was not there. After stuffing a small amount of money, I found out that a real estate developer owed Black Mask money and ran away when it was due, only to be caught. At this moment, Black Mask took this unfortunate guy to the property he developed to count the remaining assets. After having the target, Zhou Hao quickly rushed to the relevant location. Since he wanted to fight Weaver to the end this time, there were some things that required external support, and the Black Mask was part of his plan. Arriving at the developer's property, Zhou Haoma understood why this guy wanted to run away. The entire building is in a state of shutdown, and there is not a single person on the construction site. Abandoned cranes, rusty steel frames, and exposed bricks and tiles. After the construction was completed, God knows it's a year of monkeys, probably because it was unfinished, so the development the businessman had to take the money and run away. 
Because there was no one to guard him, Zhou Hao went straight to the construction site and walked along the shabby stairs. He smelled a strong smell of blood, drifting from his face. He listened carefully and seemed to vaguely hear something. There were bursts of screams. What happened? But it looks like I'm in the right place. Zhou Hao thought to himself secretly, tried to calm down the tension in his heart, and continued walking carefully. What will be waiting for him? Walking to the top floor of the unfinished building, I met the black masked bodyguard first. This group of people obviously recognized Zhou Hao and did not stop him. They just came to search and collect the revolver in his holster and ignored him. Zhou Hao didn't say much and walked straight inside. The increasingly strong smell of blood, coupled with the increasingly clear screams, seemed to turn this place into a execution ground rather than a civilized society. Give me the money. Give me the money. A rude voice was roaring, followed by a muffled sound of punches hitting the flesh. It was obvious that someone was being beaten. I. I really don't have any money, believe me. A man who had been beaten with a black nose and a swollen face wailed. His expensive suit was now in tatters and covered with dust, and the shoes on his feet were one of them was missing too, and he looked so bruised. I couldn't believe how much torture he had suffered before. Zhou Hao stood in the distance and watched coldly, although he rarely paid attention to the news in Gotham. But I can also vaguely recognize that this poor guy often appeared on TV and newspaper covers not long ago, and was hailed as a rising star in the real estate industry and a candidate for the future millionaire. But at that time, he looked more heroic and proud. Completely different from the disgraced hapless guy he is now. God knows what this guy has been through these days. I really have no money. I swear I didn't lie to you. The businessman finally found a chance to breathe and beg with difficulty. But you can wait, this house will be allowed next year. It's auctioned, by that time, I will pay off the money and give you another 50% of the profit. Um, or 75%, please give me a little more time. Well, I will definitely make a comeback. Several stout thugs stopped their beating work and turned to look at their boss. He was the dictatorial tyrant who dominated the city for a while. He controlled the largest underground drug market in Gotham and wore a black skull mask all day long. Black Mask Roman Sionis. I saw a tall man turning around gracefully. The white and straight Italian handmade suit, the meticulously manicured brand name patchwork tie, and the lacquer white high-end custom-made leather shoes all show that this person has a good aristocratic dressing style and excellent etiquette and fashion matching, but the premise of all this is to ignore the terrifying mask he wears. This is the first time Zhou Hao has seen a villain in DC who truly dominates Gotham. Even from a distance, he can feel the power of muscles under his gorgeous suit. The skull mask carved from a coffin looks. It is particularly ferocious, as if it is embedded in the face-like skin. If you look at it for a long time, you will feel a kind of instinctive fear reaction unique to creatures. You want to turn around and run away as far away from this guy as possible, and those eyes are bloodshot and violent under the mask. The indifference of his pupils is comparable to that of a great white shark in the deep sea, with no emotion or any mercy. He's lying, Black Mask said lightly, as if he was talking about a trivial matter, and his voice was very soft, like a dinner party whispering into the ear of a lady. It's just that the deep voice appears even more obscure and muffled through the wooden mask, as if it's the murmur of a devil from hell. The thugs were like mad dogs after receiving the order. They immediately raised their fists and hit the poor businessman with all their strength. It seemed that what they were beating was not a human being like them, but a piece of rag or a leaky sandbag. There is absolutely no mercy or mercy at all. Zhou Hao stood in the distance, watching the scene of wailing and being beaten. Obviously, if he fails to pay off the debt when it is due, his fate will not be much better than this guy's. In other words, I am not even qualified to sympathize with others. The businessman was beaten half to death, and he didn't know where he got the strength. He gritted his teeth and pushed away the thugs beside him. He fell to the ground, crawled forward, and tried his best to reach out and grab the black mask tightly. Pantlig, shouted in a shrill voice. Please give me another chance. As long as this house is built, it will make a profit of 200 million. By then, I will definitely be able to pay off all the money. The businessman's voice was choked. Maybe it's because his front teeth have been knocked out, but that doesn't stop him from stating his reasons as much as possible. Now I really have no money. Even if you kill me, you don't have any money. Please. 
The black mask slowly lowered his head, his eyes fixed on the prostrate businessman at his feet, and the air seemed to become strange. I saw countless dense bloodshot eyes filling the pupils, and even the whites of the eyes disappeared. Standing in the distance, Zhou Hao felt inexplicably creepy. Those eyes were no longer human, like an evil ghost in hell. Eyes full of hatred, anger and murderous intent. How dare you touch my clothes with these dirty hands? Black Mask roared word by word, each word like the last roar of a beast with fangs ready to devour someone. Ah! Only then did the businessman notice that his fingers, which were covered in blood and dust, had left dirty marks on the black mask's trouser legs. Especially in a white suit, it looks particularly awkward and ugly. The businessman was startled and quickly wanted to say a few soft words to apologize. However, before his eloquent mouth could open his mouth, Black Mask kicked him hard in the face and kicked him away. How dare you dirty my clothes! The Black Mask roared, and at the same time, the fists covered with veins hit the businessman like raindrops. Different from the attack method of the previous thugs, their boss's fists and kicks were more vicious and cunning, he specializes in picking up the soft flesh, soft tissue and vital parts of the human body. To put it simply, it mainly hits people on the nose, eyes and, and kicks people with the metal part of the toe of the shoe. Any casual move is no less than being stabbed with an iron rod. Wherever it can cause the greatest damage, attack wherever it can, without any regard for the life or death of the other party. Do you know how much I like this outfit? There is no second identical outfit in Sicily. Even if you, a pig, are sold, you can't afford it. The black mask beat the businessman crazily, showing just a hint of nobility. The elegance disappeared without a trace, and was replaced by a beast, a well-dressed beast, who finally took off his disguise and began to release the madness and brutality imprinted in his bones. Zhou Hao frowned. This was the black mask he remembered. Even the appearance he knew from the comics was even more dangerous. The instinctive sense of crisis made Zhou Hao try to calm down and focus on the other party's movements. Maybe one day in the future, he will use these experiences. As we all know, Gotham is a place where super criminals thrive most. Exclamation mark. But if we rank these people according to their degree of evil, Black Mask is probably at the top. In a sense, the Joker is even more like a pure villain. After all, the latter had his own reasons for depravity, and once experienced the death of his wife and children in one day. For example, although Penguin Kabat has done a lot of bad things, he is a thoroughly filial son. An enemy once kidnapped Penguin's mother. This already powerful gangster knelt down in front of his enemies on the spot. It was very shameless. He vividly begs the other party to let his mother go, even kowtows to beg for mercy, and licks the dirt on the enemy's shoes with his tongue, just so that his mother will not be harmed. Victor, the frozen man, would rather be aloof and indifferent against the world, but he left all the warmth in his heart to his wife, Nora, who was seriously ill. Compared to these villains, Black Mask is different. He had no unfortunate experiences. He was born into a wealthy family second only to the Wayne family and received a good education. However, such a person personally pushed his parents into the sea of fire and burned them alive, just to inherit their huge inheritance there is a difference between the settings of ancient comics and New 52. The reason why he wears a black skull mask and forms his own criminal gang is to destroy his excellent Wayne company. To put it bluntly, all of Black Mosque's actions are simple and cruel. There is no excuse for it. He is a pure evil person. At this moment, Black Mask finally stopped. Not that he was showing mercy, but because he was finally tired from the beating and stopped to take a breath. The poor businessman was already dying and his body was covered in blood and flesh. He really didn't dare let anyone take another look at his miserable condition. But even so, this guy still struggled to move his lips, spitting out blood, trying to say something. It might be a plea for mercy, or it might be a curse, but Zhou Hao really didn't want to guess this. The tired black mask showed no sign of stopping his violence. Instead, he cursed a few curse words, took out a gun from his arms, pointed it at the businessman's head, and pulled the trigger. Boom. There was a muffled sound, and the former Gotham celebrity who was still twitching on the ground became completely silent at this moment. Although everyone knows that death is the greatest sorrow in life, Joe Howe inexplicably felt that being shot to death might be the best destination for this poor man, at least he would not have to suffer any more pain. What a unlucky person. 
Black Mask shook the gun, looked at his blood-stained suit and cursed angrily. This suit is completely ruined. When I killed that tailor for the first time, I should have given him more time. Prepare a spare set. As he spoke, he didn't even look at the deceased. Instead, he ordered the thugs beside him. What are you doing standing there? Look what else he has on him. Come on. Don't wait too long. The thugs grimaced and held their breath, rummaging through the almost humanoid corpses on the ground. After groping for a while, they said dejectedly, it seems like there are only 12 yuan. Black Mask lighted a cigar without knowing how to stuff it into the mask, and added coldly. Look for gold teeth or anything like that in his mouth. Do you still want me to teach you this? Looking at their faces that had been beaten to pulp, with almost no teeth left, the thugs could only shrug, stood up and said, nothing, my lord. Hearing this, Black Mask's hand holding the cigar suddenly had veins popping out. He broke the cigarette and cursed fiercely, then go kidnap this guy's wife and inject some drugs. Then send it to the Mexicans. Whore. Let her spread her legs and make money for me until her man's debt is paid off. By the way, doesn't he have a daughter in seventh grade? He also tied her up. Many rich men in the East are the most popular. If you like this style, sell it too. Standing far away, Joe Howe felt his stomach churn as he listened, but he still tried hard to restrain himself and resisted vomiting, but his face was ashen as if he had a bad cold. Black Mask wiped his hands and, surrounded by his younger brothers, walked towards Joe Howe. After all, this was the only entrance and exit, while still mumbling. You have to pay special attention to this little girl. She is always looking for life and death. You must be careful and don't let her become my negative asset. Remember to knock out all her teeth. She can neither commit suicide nor bite. Feeding her cereal every day saves money. Also, so her eyes shut so she can't escape even if she wants to, ha ha ha. At this time, Black Mask finally saw Joe Howe. He took out his gun with a look of displeasure, pointed at Joe Howe's nose, and asked the people next to him, oh, why did you guys let outsiders in? Yes. Don't you think I have a lot of time? Joe Howe stared at the pistol that was less than 30 centimeters away from him. He could smell the smell of gunpowder from the barrel in his nose. The pores on his whole body stood up and he could hardly control himself to start fighting or running away. Fortunately, the thug next to him recognized Joe Howe and mumbled expressionlessly into Black Mosque's ear for a while, so the murderous intent on the tyrant's face softened slightly. Oh, Chinese detective from Arkham District. You came to me for tea, right? Did I bring my money? Joe Howe nodded and took out a stack of newspapers from his arms. Someone immediately came over to Black Mask. After opening them, he counted them carefully and then nodded towards Black Mask. Very good, this is the right thing. If only every debtor was as sensible as you, the Black Mask said with a smile, then waved his hand impatiently and roared at Joe Howe, then you can go away and don't get in the way here. After saying that, he ignored Joe Howe and walked straight forward. Maybe his clothes were stained with blood, which made this moody tyrant particularly angry, so much so that he didn't even exchange greetings. This was really beyond Joe Howe's expectation. If Black Mask is allowed to leave like this, then the purpose of Joe Howe's visit this time will be to give money outright, and his subsequent plan to deal with the branch director will be in vain. He wasted an hour and turned into a live show to watch a murder. It was an absolute failure. Thinking of this, Joe Howe suppressed his inner disgust and shouted to Black Mask, Wait. The Black Mask who had walked out a few meters stopped when he heard this, and turned around extremely unhappy. His two blood-red eyes stared at him, as if he had just stared at the businessman. Knowing that he had offended Black Mask, Joe Howe tried his best to pretend not to see it and said in a calm voice. Maybe, I can do you a favor. Hearing this, even the fierce-looking Black Mask couldn't help but froze, and then he looked up to the sky and laughed, but any normal person could hear the teasing and disdain in his laughter.pinchu.com. Ha ha ha, officer, are you kidding me? Help me. After laughing enough, Black Mask put his hands behind his back and said in a mocking and exaggerated tone, With all due respect, I don't seem to notice, is there anything you can do to help me, are you going to be my legal advisor for murder? Are you going to provide a beautiful lawyer with assistance? I'm sorry, but I already have a strong platoon of lawyers waiting to serve me. The thugs around him immediately laughed in agreement, and at the same time geared up, 
preparing to give the boss an order to teach this ignorant Chinese policeman a lesson. It seems that my dear police friends lack understanding of our professional level. Black Mask put his hands behind his back and walked around Zhou Hao. Then he looked at the bloody corpse and said calmly. Usually when things like this happen, Chicago gangs like to kill people in slaughterhouses. The smell of pigs, cattle and sheep can well cover up the bloody smell of the corpses, and then hang them on meat hooks and send them to the workshop, where they are mixed with the livestock to be made into cheap meat. The lunch meat is sealed in a can. And I won't do such a disgusting thing. This guy only wants to build this building and sell it for money. Unfortunately, the land has been mortgaged to me long ago. Now I can just pour him into the pillar as a filler. Even if you can watch your own building being built in my hands, hey. Remember where he is buried when the time comes. I will invite his wife to come with me and have a good time in the place where he is buried. He can see what will happen to his woman. Zhou Hao frowned when he heard this and vaguely judged some information from the words. It was obvious that these guys knew that this house would make money after it was developed. Therefore, after the land was mortgaged to Black Mask, he did not think about letting this businessman continue to work. The reason why the businessman went bankrupt so quickly may be because of Black Mask. After all, it is always more comfortable for two people to eat alone. You misunderstood. Joe Howe said with a livid face, as if he had made up his mind. He gritted his teeth and didn't explain much. Instead, he walked straight past the Black Mask and came to the businessman's body. The next scene surprised everyone present. I saw Zhou Hao picking up a scrap brick from the ground and hitting the corpse's head hard. The head that had been hit by a gun suddenly cracked open after receiving such a heavy blow. Then the second blow, the third blow, one blow after another, the white liquid like tofu, combined with the blood that has not yet cooled down, splashed everywhere, and the sound of the bones being bluntly hit was eerie. The roots of my teeth are sore. This is a comic, this is a movie, these are all two-dimensional. Zhou Hao beat the dead man's head crazily and kept thinking in his mind, none of this is true, you're not smashing someone's head in. It's just a pile of waste paper, a virtual character sketched out with a carbon pencil, something whose name you don't even know. The hardest part of the human body is the skull. After all, it protects the core of the brain. Even if it was shot, it would be too difficult to smash a big golden flower out of a brick. Soon the piece in Zhou Hao's hand was broken, but Tama picked up a new piece and continued to smash it. Finally, he picked up something from a pool of blood that looked like meat, and then came back and handed it to Black Mask. Everyone took a closer look and saw that it was the bullet fired by Black Mask just now. Although it exploded the businessman's brain, it remained in the guy's head. However, the method used to remove it was a bit cruel, and his face was still stained with red. The white and white liquid, whether it was plasma or brain plasma, was even steaming a little. Black Mask did not take the bullet handed over by Zhou Hao, but looked at him with interest, as if he saw something rare. Zhou Hao saw that the Black Mask did not move. In order to avoid the embarrassment of raising his hand stupidly, Zhou Hao raised the bullet naturally and said to everyone present, Throwing people into the concrete to water is indeed a way to save materials. I there have also been cases of driving piles in my hometown. Those unlucky people who were filled in may have their bones turned into slag after a few years or decades. But the bullets embedded in their bodies will not disappear and will always stay inside. If you accidentally knock open the cement layer, you will find a human-shaped hole inside, as well as remaining warheads. Once it is taken to the court for inspection, it may become one of the evidence against you at some point in the future. The so-called driving piles is a bad habit or dark history of Chinese architecture. Legend has it that it was passed down from the Lu Ban era. The ancients believed that when a building was built in a place, it would destroy the feng shui of the place and offend the ghosts and gods there. As a result, accidents often occur during construction. Burying living people on the construction site can quell this crisis. Simply put, it is human sacrifice. In early 2006, during the repair of a water conservancy project on Princess Margaret Road in Hong Kong, a large number of children's skeletons were unearthed. It is likely that they were the product of driving piles. Therefore, Zhou Hao knew something about this matter, so he could start talking nonsense at this time. Maybe your legal team is well versed in the loopholes of the law, but without criminal investigation experience, they will never tell you, 
even if this warhead exceeds the legal retroactive period, it can still provide the police with a lot of information about you, whether it's a fingerprint, or something else. Hearing this, Black Mask finally made some moves. He shrugged exaggeratedly and signaled his men to take the bloody bullets. Then he walked up to Joe Howe and said in a strange voice. Oh, interesting. It's been a long time since anyone, greeted me in such a unique way. Black Mask lit a cigar again and said with some excitement, even those gangsters on the streets who are fighting bravely. I don't dare to do this, by the way, are you really a policeman? When did that worthless lob find a tough guy like you? Joe Howe didn't speak, with a slight smile on his face, but his heart was in turmoil, please. He had just cut open a person's head and was almost sick, but he still had to brace himself to avoid spraying a mouthful of bile on the Black Mask's face, which would have wasted the effect of his hard work. Black Mask saw that Joe Howe didn't move at all. He didn't know that this guy was just holding back his vomiting and didn't dare to move. He thought that this young man was very moral and cruel, so he put away his contempt and took the initiative to talk. You come to me so proactively, I'm afraid it's not as simple as paying back the money. Tell me, do you have something you want to talk to me about? Black Mask took a puff of his cigar and said meaningfully. Seeing that Black Mask had made such a statement, Joe Howe did not refuse, pretending to light a cigarette casually to relieve the discomfort in his heart, and then said seriously. I made some money doing some business in Arkham, and now it feels like it's time to expand my business, but it needs the help of some, um, investors to make this struggle work. To narrow it down some time, about $15. The reason why Joe Howe said this was to show that he had enough ability to repay the money. At least for any investor, even the so-called zero-threshold lending business valued this. The people around Black Mask obviously knew Joe Howe's situation very well. They whispered in their master's ear for a while and gave Black Mask a concise and concise summary of Joe Howe's old knowledge. Oh, so Mr. Joe, you want to borrow money from me? Black Mask shrugged calmly. He did not mention Joe Howe's occupation, but asked about other things, ordinary people or paying off my debts. When you were there, you all looked like you were being pardoned, especially when you saw some of the disharmonious scenes just now. I'm fine. Under such a background, how could you still dare to think about borrowing money? After hearing this, Joe Howe had already prepared a set of words and really planned to speak but Black Mask waved his hand and interrupted him unceremoniously. Joe, maybe I should tell you that although the company is doing business like loan sharking, it is not what I am interested in. In other words, I can lend as much or as little as I like. There are no rules at all. If you are going to fool me with some tricks to scare away investors, then the conversation that follows is meaningless. The pupils of the Black Mask looked through the deep mask, looking like a dark whirlpool, which seemed to be able to seeing into the depths of people's hearts. Answer me. Young man. Fifteen United States dollars may seem like a lot, but with your current business, you can collect fifteen United States dollars to pay off the debt in just one week. Although the subsequent income may be less in the first week, consider the investment is almost zero. Under this premise, I'm afraid you can raise US dollar, in a month, in short, I don't see the need for you to borrow money, unless you encounter any trouble and need let's settle it with money. In just a few sentences, Joe Howe's dilemma was immediately highlighted, and he was worthy of being the one who would dominate Gotham's underworld in the future, although not for a long time. But seeing his true identity revealed, Joe Howe was not panicked, even though his face deliberately looked surprised. In fact, as a time traveler, especially if he is familiar with comic book characters, Joe Howe has some understanding of Black Mosque's character. First of all, this guy is headstrong and very arrogant. For example, he always thinks that he, Bruce Wayne, is much better than the playboy, so he challenges him everywhere. When running the company, he always thinks that his own ideas are correct and does not accept anyone's opinions. This, this is also the source of his tragedy. The Penguin controls Gotham's arms trade. He is considered a leader in the powerful group, but he is willing to train his subordinates. Even if there are traitors, he still encourages the people below to grow and become his right-hand man in the future, such as Arkham Origins. Penguins too the personalized secretary was the one who helped him through college. Therefore, Joe Howe, who knew the weakness of Black Mosque's character, deliberately made up the previous reasons for borrowing to be full of flaws in order to leave a hook to lure this guy. 
it seems I can't hide anything from you. Zhou Hao said with pretense of admiration, my boss doesn't like me and is planning to mobilize people to mess with me. Since we are all at odds with each other, naturally we can't after borrowing money, I became a detective, but this position can no longer satisfy my appetite, and I don't even have basic shelter, so I need more money to climb up faster. Because Zhou Hao's first version of the reason was foreshadowed, Black Mask naturally thought that he had exposed Zhou Hao's excuse, and the rest was of course the truth, so he nodded and said happily, this is right, you must admit it, let's be clear about the fact that those pirated CDs you engage in are a bullshit business. They are just ancillary industries attached to your power base, and they only cash in on some of your privileged resources. So what should you really focus on? The power of a steady hand. Even a small detective is too tall for a street gangster. When Joe Howe heard this, he felt like he was being taught something. He secretly said, so, what do you mean, boss, can you lend me this money? As soon as the words came out, Black Mosque's eyes widened, and he said in a sinister tone, lend it to you. Ha ha, Mr. Joe is really a good calculator. You just paid me back 5 yuan, and now you want to borrow another 15 yuan. Is this a deal? Is this too much? If you collected the money from other places to pay me back, and then took three times the amount from me in the blink of an eye, wouldn't I have been tricked by you? Quote. Secretly regretting that he had not calmed down just now, Joe Howe quickly explained, Don't worry, boss, the pirated disc business has been negotiated with various hotel video stores. The fees are charged on time every month. The protection fees on the street are much safer. As long as. Before he finished speaking, Black Mask suddenly roared and shouted, that's enough, I told you that pirated discs are just a cheap business, a petty profit thing. Have you ever seen any underworld person make a fortune from this? What is business? This is it. After saying that, he took out a small bag of white powder from his pocket and threw it into Joe Howe's face. Although it didn't hurt, it was quite insulting. Thinking of Black Mosque's identity, you don't need to look at it to know that this white powder is percent his old business, a serious white powder business. Seeing this scene, Zhou Hao said nothing, but secretly despised him. The reason why Hong Kong gangs were so arrogant in the past was because they smuggled a large number of pirated videotapes and DVDs into the mainland and made a lot of profits. After 9-1-1 the US imperialism tightened its blockade on the Arab world, causing these oil tycoons to also begin to import various pirated American films from China, thus forming a deformed, twisted and weird industrial chain. Is there no need to talk about it? Zhou Hao said lightly, while his eyes narrowed into a thin line, and he became fully alert. Black Mask, on the other hand, seemed not to notice anything. He shrugged indifferently and said, of course we can continue to talk, but there are some conditions and we cannot follow the previous path. After all, $15 is not a small amount. You want the price you pay will not be the same as before. Joe Howe frowned, secretly thinking something was wrong. Pinshu.com. It seems that Black Mask is planning to raise the price and take advantage of the situation. Could it be that he sees the dilemma that he is in urgent need of money? Boss, the interest rate you offered before was already very high. In just one week, you charged me 25% interest on US dollar. If you increase it now, it seems. Sionis the company's brand, is no longer so decent. Joe Howe said with squinted eyes, and also specifically emphasized the company of Black Mask. This guy is ruthless, but he cares more about his face. Maybe these words can irritate him. Unexpectedly, Black Mask waved his hand and said bluntly, the trick of adding money does not apply to you. If I really want to say it, what I want is a promise from you. What? Joe Howe was stunned when he heard this. He didn't expect such a request at all. Could it be that I have finally obtained the passive attributes of Long Aotian in online novels, and that someone will give him money when his body is shaken? Or even just need a vulgar excuse or promise to get it done? Ha ha, heaven and earth, it's finally time for me to make a fortune. Black Mask did not consider Joe Howe's thoughts, but continued to talk to himself, I'll give you some money to get some positions, no problem. I won't even ask you for interest, but on the contrary, off from now on, only my family's drugs can be sold in Cam District. After hearing this, Joe Howe fell silent. Monopolizing all the drugs in an area was no small matter, so he did not agree immediately. 
Don't worry about anything. If you agree, I will pay the monthly interest paid by those fans, and at the same time drive away those aboriginal drug dealers. I will also deal with it. What you have to do is either accept it or refuse. Black Mask said calmly. At this time, he was not as violent as when he killed people, but instead looked like a businessman who was doing favors. Zhou Hao felt uncomfortable. He felt like Li Hongzong was negotiating with Ido Hiroshi in the late Qing dynasty. When faced with Li Hongzong's pleading, Ido Hiroshi looked so arrogant and said, Today's matter, but you can agree with me. Just two sentences are not allowed. In other words, what Black Mask wants is an official figure or a spokesperson who can take care of his local interests. Faced with such conditions, Zhou Hao smiled slightly and said something that surprised everyone. The camera turned back to the present again. Jason cocked his ears and waited to hear more, but there was no movement for a long time. He couldn't help but asked anxiously, then what? What did you say? And, did you agree to Black Mosque's request? Ignoring Jason's question, Zhou Hao just lit a cigarette, looked at Jason silently, and said lightly, Um. What? Do you want to know? Of course, you are my teacher. If I can't pay back the money in the future, Black Mask will definitely arrest me and sell me away, Jason said anxiously. Then it's still too late to regret it now, Zhou Hao said jokingly while smoking a cigarette while looking at Jason. No regrets. The more this happens, the more I will follow you. Jason said very seriously. Learn all your skills while you are still alive. That way you won't regret it even if you die. Zhou Hao couldn't laugh or cry when he heard this. He didn't know how to answer, so he simply took out a bag from his body and threw it directly on the table. Jason approached carefully and saw that it was full of banknotes, but most of the money seemed to smell fishy. There is almost 10 US dollars in it. Zhou Hao blew out a smoke ring and continued, the money that the businessman compensated to Black Mask, this guy directly took part of it and threw it on the ground. It is considered as the principal loan of me, hey. What a good person who is generous to others, but this money is stained with blood, and I'm afraid there will be a real money laundering later. 10. So, doesn't it mean that you have not fully agreed to Black Mosque's conditions? Jason reacted quickly and instantly saw what was inside. Why do you do this? Zhou Hao didn't immediately explain, but simply said a word that only he knew. How can I allow others to snore and sleep on the side of the bed? When will you understand the meaning of this sentence and the reason why I do this? Quote. Of course, Jason couldn't understand the meaning of the Chinese idiom, and he couldn't find out what Zhou Hao finally said to Black Mask, but he was restrained by Zhou Hao's ruthlessness. If it were him, he would never be able to smash a poor uncle's head open. Even if it was a dead body, he would never be able to do it by himself. Arrived. When night came, Chief Weaver of the Arkham branch was reading the files delivered to him in his office. According to yesterday's appointment, today the police action team will raid hotels and video stores within the jurisdiction, and remove all places selling pirated videos, carry out punitive treatment and cut off Joe Howe's business from the source. Haha, I'm really looking forward to it. This group of people must have seized a lot of things. I really want to see someone's face now. Is he as sad as if he is crying? Weaver, the director of the branch, said happily, and even poured a glass. Red wine, I opened the file happily and prepared to celebrate later. In another place in Gotham, Joe Howe was sitting at the head of the table, smoking a cigarette in his spare time. Next to him were all the members of today's action team, all with flattering smiles on their faces, waiting in a friendly manner. He spoke. Brothers, have you thought clearly? Are you sure you want to follow me? Joe Howe said lazily. Everyone present nodded, and a few stood up impatiently and said, Joe, I have thought clearly. There are 23 hotels and 8 video stores in my neighborhood. If these are all as you ordered, they will come from us. By taking goods and picking up discs, you can get more than 300 US dollars a month. This benefit can be used by many hawkers to extort money, and we are still counting on you to make a fortune. After that, he took out a stack of lists and said enthusiastically, Look, I've even prepared the stores where I want to place orders, and I'm waiting for you to start producing discs at full capacity. Others also echoed, after all, there is too little oil and water in their neighborhood, and all the good resources are occupied by Weaver. Now that Joe Howe wants to recruit them to join the gang, he is naturally willing to do so, for fear that there will be no such shop in this village. 
you may have misunderstood. The 300 United States dollars is only guaranteed. If the shipment volume is large, I can also provide other rewards. I hope you understand that my creed is that if you have money, everyone can make it, and you will never be able to finish it. Joe Howe smiled. Said. Everyone immediately applauded, and the atmosphere in the banquet immediately became lively. The guests and hosts were having a great time, and they were so happy. But in the lively crowd, Joe Howe did not join the discussion of these people. Instead, he lit a cigarette for himself in an inconspicuous corner and said lightly, look at someone's face now, is he sad? Like crying. At this moment, Weaver, who was looking through the files, was livid. He didn't even read the words, and found that there was actually $1,500 in it, which was the benefit he had given to his subordinates before. No matter where you are, the practice of returning money only means one thing, we will not handle your matter anymore. As expected, the contents in the files were all fruitless. They either said that there were no problems with the hotel video stores in their area, or they found trivial things such as the lighting was too dark, the hygiene was too poor, and the waiters were too unattractive to affect their mood. Problem, in short, the action he wanted to see most was to cut off Joe Howe's foundation, but there was not even half of it. What? What's wrong with these people? Do you think I'm an idiot? Weaver threw the file to the ground angrily, stomped on it a few times without understanding his hatred, and said angrily, it must have been caused by Joe Howe this bought it, this guy is actually willing to spend all his money. As he spoke, Weaver walked to the window, stared at the dotted downtown area in the distance, and said through gritted teeth, Huh. Since you want to play, I will accompany you to the end to see who can have the last laugh. The days passed peacefully. Perhaps for a city like Gotham, having no news is often the best thing. James Gordon of the Gotham General Administration walked to the underground parking lot dejectedly. Needless to say, his application for a shift transfer failed again. To be precise, there is no reply at all, neither agreeing nor saying no. It whets your appetite and there is no room for reasoning. Strange. Why aren't the lights in the parking lot turned on? Gordon glanced at the dark place in confusion and pressed the switch on the wall, but nothing happened. The huge underground parking lot, with only a few rays of light leaking in through the huge gaps in the exhaust vents, looked particularly dark and gloomy, like a cellar where corpses were parked. Gordon muttered dissatisfiedly and walked towards his car with a large push of files. Today, Director Luobu went to the metropolis for business. It is said that he was attending a charity conference such as World Peace. Humph. It's really funny to say that Gotham's public security is so bad, this is still in the mood to brag. Please improve local security first, and then consider issues such as World Peace. When Gordon walked to his car in the dark and was about to take out the keys, he heard a lazy voice coming from behind him. Hey, is the vice captain about to get off work? I'm sorry, I'm afraid it will take a while. Gordon looked around and saw four burly men standing at the entrance. However, each of these guys had a wrestler mask on their face, so their appearance could not be seen clearly. The wooden baseball bats they held in their hands were it shows that this group of people has bad intentions. One of them was extremely arrogant, shaking his head and saying, you'd better say hello to your wife first. Maybe you won't be able to go back for one night. You will either be lying in the hospital or lying on the cement floor. In short, you will suffer. A bit bitter. While talking, several other people quickly gathered around and cooperated with each other to surround Gordon, blocking all his escape routes. It was said that he was unable to fly. Gordon, on the other hand, looked at all this coldly, making no move at all, as if he was petrified. Old guy, why don't you speak? It may not be too late to beg for mercy now. I hope that after this beating, you will know how to deal with others in a more obedient way, at least not to interfere in other people's way of making money. The big man just now said proudly, looking at Gordon's face like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. Sudden. In this flash of lightning, Gordon suddenly threw the file he was holding into the sky, and suddenly the snow-white official papers flew in all directions, covering him like snow, the people who were preparing for the siege couldn't help but be surprised. They didn't expect Gordon to do this. However, before they could react, a sudden strong wind blew directly into the face of the speaker, knocking him away. What? Is this old guy on guard? One of the strong men shouted in surprise. Gordon was holding a metal bat in his hand. 
Apparently, this cylindrical thing had been wrapped in a file of the same shape. Inside, this group of people received a severe blow unexpectedly. You should really check my record in the army, I was trained to deal with worse situations now. Gordon exhaled in frustration, secretly feeling lucky, if it hadn't been for the fact that there was someone in the back garden before. The unknown guy took the risk to tell him the news. I'm afraid that now I will be beaten up without any defense. It will be very miserable. This group of people was not willing to give up like this and rushed towards them brandishing bats. Gordon didn't show any weakness. He saw the gap between one of his opponent's attacks and keenly hit his weak spot, easily knocking a huge man to the ground. Just like what he did in the Vietnam battlefield. After a while, the four big men were knocked to the ground one by one by Gordon. They kept wailing and couldn't stand up. Although his age and body are no longer what they used to be, Gordon knows how to fight far beyond ordinary people because he has been on the battlefield. You are so lucky. After I came out of the army, I no longer plan to be cruel to ordinary people. I neither broke your ribs nor punched you in the chest, I just hit you hard enough. As for the extent of going to the hospital, Gordon said breathlessly. After all, he is older, and such strenuous exercise will still make him more or less unable to bear it. But just as he finished speaking, he felt a sound behind his head. Darkness swung a bat and hit him accurately on the back of the head. The force was so strong that Gordon's black-rimmed glasses flew away. Ha ha, isn't the army amazing? Old guy, you must have forgotten. There is also a retired special forces soldier in the Gotham Police Department. Hearing this, even though Gordon had a splitting headache, he couldn't help but think of one person, Flass, the captain of the Gotham Special Operations Team. He was so tall and powerful. He always liked to brag that he had worked in the SEALs. When we were in the small garden, the guy he had never met before left a handwriting on the wall, telling him to be careful about this person. Unexpectedly, at this critical moment, he was actually attacked by this guy. Brothers have been unhappy with you for a long time, Gordon. Today is just a warning. Flass also covered his face, but he had been hiding in the dark. He only showed up to attack when Gordon was at his most relaxed. There was no psychological burden of hurting someone in the back, but he was particularly excited to see Gordon curled up like a shrimp on the ground. Ha ha. Now I will treat you well, I will make sure to beat you just enough to prevent you from going to the hospital. The masked Frost smiled sinisterly, and at the same time clenched the bat in his hand, ready to enjoy it what follows is a bloody feast. Gordon, who was lying on the ground, struggled to stand up, but the dizziness coming from the back of his head made everything he saw blurry and shaking. Stop struggling, old guy. Without glasses, I'm afraid you can't even aim at urination and defecation. The masked Frost taunted, and at the same time, he kicked Gordon hard and kicked Gordon back. You think you're good at fighting, right? Maybe, but that was a long time ago. After saying that, he raised his bat high and smiled ferociously. Be smart in the future, old dog. When you block other people's roads, remember to think more about your family. Jimmy. Seeing that the defenseless Gordon was about to be severely beaten, something suddenly flew out of the darkness and flew directly in the direction of Florida's. What is it? You dare to plot against me. Flass has been in the special forces. It's unclear what his level is, but his reaction is first rate. He immediately listened to the sound and identified its location. According to the direction in which the thing flew, it was a stick. Bang. There was a metallic crunching sound, like the sound of hitting a can or a Coke bottle, and Florida's was easily knocked away. However, before Frost could be happy, he discovered a problem. The bottle that was thrown over just now seemed to have no lid. The liquid inside spilled out when it was knocked away, confusing his face. Who is so unethical that he drinks without twisting the lid, my eyes. Frost cursed loudly and wiped it with his hands. However, Gordon, who was lying on the ground, would not let him get what he wanted. He gritted his teeth, squeezed out his last strength, and hit Frost's leg. He directly pushed this strong man who was nearly two meters tall to the ground. Have you received special forces training? I dealt with such an opponent as early as 15 years ago. Gordon gasped, pressing down on the constantly fluttering Froz, trying to control his actions. When it comes to fighting, there is a lot of skill. Generally speaking, as long as you can knock your opponent to the ground, 
it will be difficult for him to use his great skills on the ground. Except for sleeping techniques or lying on the ground, otherwise, you can only be beaten passively, with few ways to fight back. At this moment, Gordon caught his opponent's rare negligence and put his knee on Fraza's abdomen. Then he freed his hand, raised his fist, and hit the guy's face hard one after another. At the beginning, Fraz tried to get up because of his strength, but after receiving a heavy blow on the bridge of his nose, he softened and opened his mouth to say a few words to beg for mercy, but he was punched in the face again. I don't know how long it took before Gordon, who was tired from beating him, stopped and kept panting, as if he was breathing for the first time. My hands. Gordon's fists were full of blood, some of which were Fraz's, and some of which were his own. The result of using too much force was that the skin on his fingers was torn, but Gordon did not rush to bandage himself. Instead, he lifted the mask from the thug's face. Sure enough, it was Frass and his men. This unexpected result still made Gordon deeply moved. They were handcuffed by the gang, then their clothes were pulled off and thrown into the trash. Gordon finally staggered and prepared to leave. These people won't report it. Absolutely not, especially Fraz. He will make up a story about at least 10 or 20 attackers, but he will never admit that I beat him, unless he wants to be in the police force forever, it would be embarrassing to tell a young retired special forces soldier that he was knocked down by an old man. But thank you very much, Flass, for letting me know how to be a police officer in Gotham. What kind of price should I pay? Gordon thought to himself, speaking of which, my popularity is really bad. To be plotted by myself is really. Huh. By the way, where did the bottle fly from just now? If it hadn't been for this thing if so, my end will be very troublesome. Thinking of this, Gordon quickly lowered his head and searched in the parking lot. Sure enough, he found a can in the corner not far away, with traces of being hit by a baseball bat on the surface. Gordon carefully picked up the can with a handkerchief, trying to find some clues from it. He saw that the can had written in Chinese characters, authentic Guangdong Oolong tea. Huh, this is China. Is there anyone in the agency who likes to drink this kind of stuff? Gordon thought for a long time, and finally thought of a person, a young man who once helped Loeb to rescue him, and at the same time publicly declared that Batman is a hero. Is, is that that person? The first Chinese detective, didn't he go to Arkham? Why should he help me? Gordon was puzzled and could only stare blankly. He was fascinated by the cans, and at the same time, he felt a fondness for this young man he had never met before. At the same time, Joe Howe came to the underground evidence room in a grand manner to visit his friend, one of the four future kings of the Gotham underworld and the most intelligent mysterious Saint Nigma. Of course, the current Riddler has not yet turned black. He was very happy to see Joe Howe coming and quickly made arrangements to make him tea. No, I just drank a can of oolong tea, and I don't want to drink anything now. Joe Howe smiled good-naturedly, took out a cigarette and said, as long as you allow me to smoke here, it will be really great. The Riddler smiled and shook his head, still boiling the water, and pointed at the no smoking sign on the wall and said, I personally don't care, but a lot of information in the evidence room is fire safe, and I have to abide by the rules of the bureau. Sorry. Joe Howe shook his head helplessly. If he hadn't known history, he wouldn't have believed that the law abiding an honest guy in front of him could be a feared outlaw. Hey. After all, it may have been him who delayed the Riddler's criminal career. The Riddler didn't think so much. Instead, he frowned and glanced at Joe Howe's clothes, and said strangely, Man, why are there drink stains everywhere on your body? According to the location of the spots, it actually fell from a height. Yes, didn't you take a bath with a drink? Absolutely, hey. I've learned a lesson, don't use open bottles when throwing things away, otherwise you will definitely get wet when you throw them out, Joe Howe said helplessly. The Riddler didn't understand Joe Howe's words at all, and wanted to ask again, but heard noisy sounds coming from outside. Someone come and help me. Froz was beaten in the basement and his clothes were stripped off. Call the doctor, his eyes are filled with drink and he can't seem to open them. Listening to this noisy voice, even the Riddler, who was not willing to join in the fun, was attracted and said happily to Joe Howe. Ha ha. This annoying Froz finally got his retribution. All his clothes were stripped off. If my goddess knows this, she will definitely not like this guy anymore. The Riddler said happily, Huh. Why are you here? 
After the incident, Froz was beaten. Could it be that? Was this your doing? Quote. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.